But hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Digimon Survive. I guess I'll quickly give a recap of my feelings of last time because I've thought on it a bit more. And in the end, I think it's just my initial perspective of what this game was going to be potentially being ever so slightly incorrect. Because I thought this... Because it isn't a one-to-one -one idea of like, oh, this is my expectation of how this game is going to work. But I kind of thought it would be on the line of Mass Effect in terms of, oh, your choices have actions, you can save people. But in this case, we got that one that either, like, again, spoilers for the people that are here and don't want spoilers for some reason, but it is a pretty big part that we hit last time, so just give a fair warning just in case somebody stumbled in here. But... With the death of Ryo last time, and I'm just going to assume that it actually is a death, even though Miyuki is here and she also got snabbed. Snabbed. Snatched. Snatched and nabbed at the same time, apparently. But Miyuki got grabbed by the ghost hands, and she's still here. So that leads my brain to go in different directions, but considering the reaction, considering the shadow blotch splatter and intensity, because that did get my heart going. Like, even beyond my initial, no, my choices doth not matter. But I've only, I've come to the conclusion that either saving Ryo is impossible, saving Ryo is a guide dang it kind of thing where you need to play it perfectly, or saving Ryo is an Undertale, where you play through it and then, because I'm just going to assume this game has New Game Plus, because not only did the last Digimon game that I played have New Game Plus, even though this one doesn't have the New Game Plus option, maybe it'll work like, uh, what is it? I know that there's one game that lets you, like, load a finished save, and that starts the game at the beginning with the finished saves data stuff. So, who knows? I'm going to assume that there is some kind of New Game Plus, because there's so many choices, and they might want to let people play the game in different ways, while not having to grind up their Digimon as much. So, and plus, I don't know how the Gilmon bonus works, and I'm not sure if that's, like, locked to one save if when you redeem it, because some games do that, some don't. Eh. The variables of gaming hurts the soul. But yeah. Either saving Rio, Rio is impossible, is nearly impossible, and requires perfect actions, or is impossible until you start the game again, and then you have the tools to save him. I don't know. It just feels odd how it was done. But that could, again, be my expectations from the game, and then the execution of the game not lining up, because, again, I avoided all of the promotional materials and stuff about this, so I don't know, like the apparently the the moral, like the moral. I want to say it's kindness, but it's not kindness; it's harmony. But yeah, harmony, wrathfulness, and moral. Apparently, that's called the karma system, and it has effects. But I don't know what it is. And at the same time, I'm not sure if there are secrets to it. And like I said last time, I'm going to alter my strategy of how I play this game due to that where, from now on, I am going to save Scum for Affinity, but I'm not going to save Scum the consequences of my actions. So if something happens, and it feels like it's a story beat instead of a, oh, conversation to raise Affinity, then I will stick to the consequences of the story beats. Because that feels like a bridge too far. Because this is about my the consequences of my actions. All your choices matter, even though Ryo still died, even though there didn't seem to be any opportunity to save him, so that gives my brain bleh. But yeah, when it comes to affinity, I'll potentially save Scum. Sometimes I won't, sometimes I will. It's just how I feel about that particular conversation and affinity gain. But as for actual story beats, 
like, say, the choices I made in regards to the uh, the mysterious, unfamiliar woman who turned out to be Arukinimon. I would not save scum my choices I made there, even though it felt odd and I could only talk to, like, the twins and then Kaito, and things felt odd there, but, uh, bleh. Yeah. Overall, affinity gains? I'm going full affinity gains, and I'm going to save scum that shit after what happened to Ryo, because then it just kind of feels like either the affinity doesn't affect things, or it, like, beyond the combat, or it does. But, like, oh, no, it does affect things outside of combat, because the game explicitly told me by saying, oh, if you focus on one person, things might happen different as opposed to spreading the affinity around. So, yeah. I'll save Scum Affinity, which won't really matter too, too much because it'll mostly be like uh, the choices I make on who to hang out with during the free action segments. And, oh yeah, and the other thing that I'm also going to change my strategy on is the moral, harmonious, wrathfulness conversation meter thing. I think I'm going to go primarily moral from now on because, again, the your choices didn't matter Rio segment really just kind of kicked me in the balls. And now I'm like, mm, okay, then I'm going to alter how I play this. And uh, because it does seem like most of the time, most of the time when it comes to the thing of like harmonious moral wrathfulness, it doesn't seem to affect things too much. It's mostly just the character saying, I will do this, and then things play out the same regardless, it seems. Um, uh, except for maybe the Gomamon recruitment side thing, which didn't seem to be... That was more of a side thing. Blech, but yeah, I'm going to uh, alter how I play because of uh, what happened last time, and the game only has itself to blame. Uh, good morning, Kaito. Drakmon? Uh, finally up, are you? Wow, he seems pretty mad. He's been waiting for me to wake up this whole time. Sorry, I woke up so late. Had a time, hard time getting to sleep. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure you were exhausted. So where's everybody else? How, would I, how should I know? You're the only one who's shown up. Wait, really? I thought for sure they'd have all been here by now. Where is everybody? I love the place. Apparently, I'm looking pretty upset. They did, that, they did see that friend of yours get taken into that fog right in front of them. I'm sure they're, that's bothering all of them as much as it is you. That's a good point. Ryo's death didn't just come as a shock to me. It has to be on everybody's mind. They'll need to process what happened. We should probably give them some time. But we don't have any time to give. We need to go get out there and save Mew. True, but with that strange fog, everyone's nervous. All the more reason we should move fast. Mew's in trouble. But it's not just the fog. There are monsters after her. That's right. Arukinimon, that spider monster, said something about a sacrifice. She was really strong, too. But there are lots of other things like her out there. Damn it! This is why I wanted to find you yesterday! I should have never let you talk me out of it. No, I should have taken my... I never should have taken my eyes off of her in the first place. Kaito, calm down. Yes, listen to Kuma. Shut up! Don't tell me how to calm down. My sister's life is on the line. Hey, it's not like I forgot, but you getting mad is good, isn't going to help anything. No, you know it's not going to help. Arguing while waiting for help, that's not coming. I'm going to look for Mio on my own. Kaito, wait! It's too dangerous for you to go by yourself. We all need to stick together. I agree. I know when you're putting yourself in danger. Drakmon. <laughs> he really must have mumbled that under his breath. I did not hear him say Drakmon. <laughs> All right, fine. That's a relief. We managed to get through it for, to him for once, but I'm only waiting around until noon. After that, I'm going. <laughs> what? I'll wait here till noon, then I'm leaving from you, no matter what anyone says. I'll go alone if I have to. Man, you can be such an idiot sometimes. You know, I'll be with you if it comes to that. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, obviously. Who else would I be talking to? You probably got some stupid idea about not putting everyone else in danger, don't you? Quit trying to do everything by yourself. What do you think I'm here for? You really feel that way. All right, sorry about that. Drakmon seems genuinely concerned for Kaito. See, this is why I think Kaito's not gonna die. 
at least beyond my actions and decisions. Because Drachmon is helping him, and Kaido is help, uh, taking that help. And Kaido does actually seem to be listening to Drachmon in his own way. It might not look like it, but I think those two are actually pretty close. So, Takuma, I guess this means you better round everyone up. I'll need to keep an eye on Kaido to make sure he doesn't take off early. Got it. I'll go get everyone else. Let's see if I've got until noon. Oh no, that's hardly any time. I need to get around here quick. Free action. I wonder how many turns I have. Eleven. Not terrible. We do have more free battle if we want to level people up. Hmm, Agumon in the corridor. I guess I'll go to Agumon in the corridor. But first things first, time to save! As we begin the Save Scum Chronicles! Well, we'll go maybe talk to Agumon. Takuma, last night was awful, wasn't it? Yeah, first the professor and now Ryo. We faced lots of danger since we came to this world, but for people to actually die. I'm reminded once again how much more dangerous this place is than I thought. How are we supposed to get out of here? How are we supposed to survive? Takuma, are you all right? What? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't get so down after how you cheered me up last night. That's okay. I'm still a little surprised myself. Surprised? About what? About Ryo. I still can't believe what happened to that human child. If that happened to you, Takuma, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah, same here. After all, it wasn't just Ryo who disappeared. Kunemon went with him. I feel bad for Kunemon, too. Ryo has never seemed to understand what Kunemon was thinking. But I know Kunemon was concerned for Ryo. Why did it have to end like that? Now Kunemon doesn't even have Ryo. Human children are special to Agumon and the others somehow, right? But even so, the thought of disappearing must be terrifying, even to them. So it makes sense that Agumon would be upset by what happened to Ryo and Kunemon. Well, I'm not going to abandon you, Agumon. Ah, oh, Takuma. What a nice thing to say. Looks like this time it was your turn to cheer me up. Thanks to you, I feel a lot better. Well, I'm glad I could at least cheer you up. I'm pretty sure everyone else is still upset. Then I'll just have to fix that. Oh, how? Well, I'm not sure. Is there anything you could you think I could do? What might Agumon be able to do to cheer people up? Maybe if he went and talked with everyone like we're doing right now? That might my that might help make things easier to deal with. Then again, I'm sure they're all in pain. Maybe they prefer to be left alone. I'm not sure. Hmm. Because this is the thing. This is harmonious. This is wrathful. Yeah, at the end of the day, I honestly can't say. It would depend on the person to person. Like, Aoi would probably need someone to talk to... Saki might need someone to talk to to get her mind off things. Shuji is an asshole. I also can't say. Well, it's actually only been a few days since we met. I'm not sure what you could do. Really? You don't have any idea? I thought for sure you'd know right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, how about this? Why not do something for the others you'd like them to do for you? Oh, good thinking! That makes me give me a, that gives me an idea. I should go look around for that one spot. Hmm, sounds like he's muttering to himself about something. Be right back, Takuma. Wait, where are you going? Don't worry about it. Bye. Well, if you say so, but be back in the cafeteria by noon, okay? Otherwise, Kaido might go off looking for you on his own. Got it. Does he even know how to tell time? I don't think he knows how to tell time. Ah, shit, they moved around. Let's see, is there... Oh. I guess we can see the full area now. This is a big-ass area. I guess I'll go to the classroom. Or let's see. Guess I'll go talk to Shuji the asshole. Ah, oh, come on. Where did he go, I wonder? He kind of told you. Poor Lopmon. 
Uh, this is all my fault. If only I'd been able to keep it together. Shuji. Ah! Oh, Takuma. Sorry, I was just talking to myself. No, I feel like I should be the one to apologize. I didn't mean to scare you. How are you doing? Shuji, you look like you're in so much pain all the time. I'm worried about you. God damn it, Shuji. Why are you an asshole? Not only was I thrown into some strange new world, I watched someone die in front of me. Sorry, I only meant... It's exactly the kind of thing that Professor trusted me to keep from happening. If I'd only kept my act together, Ryo would still be here. I've completely failed the Professor. Shuji, I can see why you'd feel that way, but you shouldn't blame yourself. What happened to the two of them wasn't your fault. No, it is my fault. I'm the oldest, the one who's supposed to be the leader. It was my job to keep everyone safe. Well, I mean... Davis did... No, that not Davis. Blah. What's his name? I forget his name. The guy that got Gomamon in Adventure 1. He was the oldest, and he didn't become uh, the leader. That became... That was Ty. Resident Goggle Boy. It was my job to keep everyone safe. How am I supposed to apologize to Ryo's parents? Uh, parent. His uh, mother died. Or were you not listening to his... Uh... No, I guess we wouldn't know. But at the same time, he also was like, Oh, Mom's gone, but she's here, but she's gone. He's insane. He really feels like he's responsible for what happened. But it's not like he's solely to blame for it. None of it was his fault. Think of that later. We can apologize, because... Shuji, focus on surviving long enough to apologize. Definitely indeed. To be honest, I don't think focusing on that is going to help us now. That's the kind of thing we can worry about more after we get back. But that doesn't solve anything. It just delays the problem. But we also have more important problems, like making sure more people don't end up like Ryo. Maybe, but I have a hard, hard enough time thinking about what to do now. I think you should listen to Takuma. Oh, shut up! What do you know about responsibility? Anyway, sorry, but would you mind giving me a little more time on my own? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I could use some time to think. All right. Shuji. Shuji's not taking this well. And his own strong sense of responsibility isn't helping. Maybe it's best if I just leave him alone for a while. And more people move. I'll still go move to the woods by the school. Oh yeah, the fact that people move is odd. I should be saving more, I feel like. Guess Agumon isn't here. Of course you take... You're gonna save. Because you don't grant affinity. But at the same time... You might have something important to say. Hey, Lopma, you're on your own? Shuji told me to get lost. Oh, sounds like you've got things pretty rough, too. I only ever seem to get in Shuji's way. Yeah, it seems like Shuji still hasn't really accepted Lopmon. I hope Shuji starts to open up to you soon. Me too. I'll keep trying to find a way to make it so we get along like you and Agumon. Sounds good. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, but that reminds me. Agumon went off somewhere earlier and he hasn't come back. Do you know where he went? I'm pretty sure Agumon was headed for the shrine. The shrine? Why would he go there? I'm not sure. I wonder if it's got something to do with what he was muttering to himself about. Guess I'll go talk to the people here. Guess Algamon isn't here. We already know where he went. Guess we'll... Okay, there. I, did... I was pressing the directional D-pad and saw like, oh, auto and skip. And I was like, no, I don't want that. I want that to go away. One night just isn't enough to put something like that behind you, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty upset by the whole thing too. We all watched as one of us disappeared. The shock of the moment was unbelievable. Ryo was a pretty twisted guy. He was always really grumpy, insulting, and uncooperative. But that doesn't make it okay that he's gone. Besides, I knew what his real problem was. He never knew how to express himself. I guess that side of him kind of reminded me of myself. That's why I stuck by him. I never understood why Saki was so cheerful and outgoing. It was always with Ryo. 
But I, no, but I think I get it now. She must have felt like they were two sides of the same coin. Not that I could ever see it. He was always so lonely. That's why he acted the way he did. That's right. People can be like that, can't they? You could see it too, Florimon? Nope, not at all. What? But I know that you're really nice, Saki. I know that better than anyone. Nice, huh? Is that what you think too, Takuma? Saki seems nice enough to me, but she can be pretty blunt sometimes. Besides, I feel like I still don't know her all that well. Alright, this one doesn't seem to be governed by the Bibbidi Bob, but at the same time. Save. Because paranoia. But yeah, I think you're nice. Yeah, I'm sure you're nice enough. Hey, what kind of an non answer is that? I'll have you know that Saki is very nice. Yeah, sure, but I don't know. I feel like there's more to it than that. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm not sure how best to say it. Like, you clearly understand Ryo really well. It's like you said before, you may not come out and say it, but you care about people. Ah, so that's how you feel about me. Yeah! I'm kind of happy about that. Thanks, Takuma. What? Oh, sure. Oh, Takuma, your face is turning red. You feeling shy? Maybe a little nervous? No, why would I be nervous? You know, I think talking with you helped me feel a little better. Thanks, Takuma. And now we'll talk to Aoi. I couldn't stop them. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done. But I could tell. I knew there was something wrong with Ryo. Oh, why couldn't I help him? Sounds like Aoi's blaming herself. Yeah, you know how seriously she takes things. She regrets not doing more. She's been crying all morning. It's been hard to watch. She feels guilty about what happened to Ryo. Probably because she's so responsible. I think Labramont's probably right that there was nothing she could have done. But I can also understand how Aoi could feel regret at not being able to do more. Alright, since this m seems more affinity based and probably isn't, but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't get the color tint. So, no. Hmm. I'd say we're all responsible to a degree. Hmm. Yeah, my... With these, I'll go with my initial thought of what's the correct answer and save scum to get affinity because I'm an asshole. We're all responsible. It wasn't just you, Owie. We all could have done more to help support Ryo. I mean, I couldn't do anything either. Takuma. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. After all, even I didn't realize Ryo was that far gone. So there's no reason for you to take all the blame, Aoi. Takuma, Saki, I... I... Aoi, please, stop crying like that. It's just, you're both being so thoughtful while I... I've only been thinking about myself. Please, Aoi, cheer up. I'm the worst. What should I do? I don't know how to comfort her. And if I can't get everyone to the cafeteria soon, Kaido could go off on his own. Man, I don't know what to do. Some good you are making people feel better. Oh, he still won't stop crying. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't think of the right thing to say. Well, I doubt there's anything you could say that I'd get through to her right now. What makes you say that? Because I don't think Ali's looking for someone to say the right thing. What's that supposed to mean? Is this gir a girl thing, or is Saki speaking from her own experience? Either way, Saki sure does show a lot of consideration for someone so free-spirited. Once again, because I got that, but since this is a double choicey. I'm gonna say you're so considerate. I don't think you cared what other people thought, but you sure play close attention. You think so? I feel this is pretty normal. I don't know. Look at how you're thinking of Aoi, even after everything that happened. Yeah, he's right. Maybe it's just when I see someone who's sad, it helps me realize I need to stay calm, if you say so. Anyway, I'll stay here with Aoi. Let me handle this. Labramon and I will be here too. Okay. Sorry, Aoi. Dry those tears. It wasn't your fault, Aoi. You didn't do anything wrong. But there was nothing anyone could have done back there. I wanted to help too. We all did. It's nice that the girls can comfort each other like that. I'm really glad Saki is here right now. And because I am super paranoid, I will save over that part. And then, 
load this one to see if there was any affinity to be gained with Saki. Just to be safe. Hmm. Have you had it rough? Some might get the impression you've been through a lot. You, you do? Why do you say that? Well, I just thought maybe you were speaking from experience just now. Well, uh, of course I was. I'm pretty shocked about losing Ryo myself, you know. Saki. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Anyway, I'll stay here with you. Okay. Owie. Get that affinity. Explore little things. It's interesting that these small additions can affect things. And then Labramon moved, and Floramon. Guess I'll go talk to Minoru. And this should... Huh, talking to you as well. Bibbidi bobbidi boo, man. Otakuma, perfect timing. Is something wrong, Falcomon? It's about Kunemon. As you know, he was unable to communicate with you humans. Yeah, apparently he had a hard time communicating properly. If Kunemon had been more concerned with this, and if he had gotten through to Ryo, I believe things may not have turned out as they did. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And yet Kunemon tried his best in his own way. He thought to communicate using actions, not words. He did? Yes, Kunemon made a piece of equipment for Ryo. This is the result. What is it? Tell me truthfully. What do you think of this equipment? What do I think of it? I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Still, I'm sure Kunemon worked very hard making this for Ryo. I'd like to tell Falcomon he did a good job, but Falcomon did ask for an honest opinion. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm. Then let us reserve judgment. This is one thing I can say, though. And what is that? It reminds me of Kunemon. In that sense, I think it's well done. I see. In that case, I will leave this to you. Really? Are you sure? It was only a prototype, and I have no use for such a thing. I'd like you to have it. Anti-paralysis crystal. I'm sorry I troubled you with this, Takuma. Not at all. Now we talk to Minoru. Oh, uh, hey, Takuma. What's up? We've been around checking on people since nobody came to the cafeteria this morning. Kaido's pretty worked up. He's talking about going to look for Mew on his own. I see. Then it sounds like this is no time for us to remain idle. Yeah, Kaido can get pretty fixated on things, can he? Especially when they involve his sister. Yeah, who'd have thought a tough guy like him would have such a soft spot for his sister? Well, this is a nice surprise. It seems like Minoru's holding up better than I thought. Or he's hiding it better than you think. By the way, Takuma? What sort of comics do you like? What? Where's this coming from? I do not believe now is an appropriate time for such a conversation. Oh, come on, relax. Besides, there's some things I want to ask because of this situation. I don't really get why he's asking me this, but let me see. I'm not exactly big into comics, mostly just your typical hero stuff. I do enjoy the occasional romantic comedy too, but I bet Minoru would tease me about that. Of course, to save the cell. Hmm. Why are you asking? So, why is it you're asking? Is there some special meaning? No, not really. It's just things have been so crazy since we got here, I wanted a normal conversation. You are one happy-go-lucky guy, aren't you, Minoru? <laughs> yeah, it's one of my strong points. So I've got some favorites I've been reading forever. I can never wait to read the next issue. Man, I can't wait to find out what happens next. Hmm, is it just me or does Minoru seem like he's acting a little forced? Anyway, the hero is just the coolest. Look, like all the heroes I know, it's not even close. When I read it, even I think about, I think about how I want to be like that. I'm not even joking. Minoru, please. All right, you don't really know what I'm talking about, do you, Falcomon? Sorry. Man, if only there were comics in this world too. Ain't that a shame? Do not push yourself so hard, Minoru. Uh, what? What do you mean? It is plain to see your heart's not truly in this conversation. No way! Don't be ridiculous! <laughs> I thought so. He's been putting on an act. Minoru, you seem pretty down. I guess I couldn't fool you, but, you know, it's not just me, it's everyone. Everyone's in a bad mood after Ryo's disappearance yesterday. 
I guess Minoru is no exception. Why couldn't I do anything, Minoru? It's not like Rio and I even got along that well. He was kind of a loser, really. But I'm still not thrilled that he's gone. Minoru, calm down. And it sucks because I knew he was struggling. He had been since we came here. Why did I just keep ignoring him right at the end? Yeah, I've been asking myself that, too. And I didn't just ignore him. I kept teasing and insulting him, even though he was older. Uh, I'm the worst. It wasn't your fault, Minoru. You shouldn't blame yourself so much. You don't have to try and comfort me. I know what I did. It was awful. I don't think I ever treated Riel right. It's hard to believe Minoru could get this depressed. It's so different from usual. I guess in his own way, he's been thinking a lot about Ryo. Falcomon, I think we should give Minoru some space right now. I concur. Yet I believe as long as Minoru can reflect on his actions in this way, his heart's in the right place. And of course, see if we can get the right answer. Because paranoia, brain has been activated. Those comics he likes. Well, I'll read anything if it's interesting, but mostly into superheroes. Yeah, I knew it! Superhero comics are the best, right? When we make it back to our world, I've got tons of recommendations for you. And then we can skip on ahead, because this is a retread. Because now the game has got me super paranoid. And scared of the world around me. Wrong one. But still nice that you can look at the backlog of this conversations, which is super nice. I think I've talked to everybody. Because let's see. If we talk to. Pe uh, not Pedalmon. Brain. Floramon. Floramon, Labramon. We can then go to Woods by School, and that will leave us with two moves, I think. Hey, Floramon, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Takuma. Can you feel that? Uh, feel what? Over there. Isn't that where the shrine is? Yeah, I think so. I'm not really sure, but I think there's something over there. I can feel it. It's some sort of strange power. I wonder what it could be. I wouldn't know. Well, it's really bothering me. Are Floramon and the others sensing something us humans can't? Anyway, what brings you here, Takuma? Oh, well, Kaido asked me to get everyone together. He says if we're not all in the cafeteria by noon, he'll go look for Mew by himself, so I'm sure everyone's still shaken after what happened with Ryo and Kunemon, but yes, I can see what you're saying. We should start looking for Mew. After all, I can understand how Kaido must feel. We can't just sit here and stew. I need to pull myself together, too. Really? You seem like you're in pretty good shape to me. But I could be doing better. I need to be doing better, or I'm worried that I won't be able to protect Saki. Saki's a little like that, too. She may seem well put together, but sometimes I get very worried. I pay close attention. With you looking out for her, I'm sure she'll be fine. Really? Well, if that's what you think, Takuma, maybe things will be all right. Thanks for listening to me, Takuma. Don't mention it. Glad I could help. All right, see you later, then. Okay, because I want to connect to the Digimon. Agumon, where did you go, I wonder? Oh, hey, Labramon. How unusual to see you apart from Allie. Sometimes we like to do things on our own, too. Besides, now that you're asking me, where's Agumon? Yeah, he ran off somewhere in a hurry. I think he mentioned he was looking for something. Mm, what was that? What was it? Your guess is as good as mine. Did you want Agumon for something? Oh, it's nothing, really. Don't worry about it. Agumon sure is something else. After last night, I'm amazed he's in such high spirits. Me, on the other hand. I wonder if Labramon is worried about what happened to Ryo and Kunemon yesterday. I'm such a failure. It should be comforting Aoi, but I can't help thinking about how if Aoi ends up like Ryo, I disappear like Kunemon. That thought just keeps going around and around in my head. It's completely understandable, especially after seeing Kunemon vanish like that. What scares me is that the same thing could happen with me and Agumon. But just because you're scared, that's no reason to sit around and do nothing. Yeah, you're right, Takuma. Hey, wait. Did you come here to cheer me up? Actually, I'm trying to get everyone together as soon as possible. Why? Did something happen? Is it another attack? No, it's not that. Kaido's made up his mind, and he's going to go look for Mew on his own if we don't all meet up. So I'm trying to convince everyone to meet in the cafeteria by noon. Oh, so that's it. 
Yeah, Kaido seems pretty worked up. I'm a little worried about him. All right, then. After all, I'm not about to leave Mew or even Kaido on their own out there. I'll be sure to be in the cafeteria by noon. Kind of, it would be kind of funny if the key to getting everyone together is to talk to all the Digimon. Hmm, this one's no good. What about this one? Oh, over there! Yes, I think this could be it! I bet Takuma and the others will love this! Now I think I'll head a little farther out. Ah, no sign of Agumon here. Where could I have even wandered off to? Hope these are not shadows. Nope, it's a shadow. Well, let's fight the shadow and magically conjure everybody together. Talking with friends. I need to do that more in combat. Of course, I'll bring out my big man. Oh yeah, we have Drachmon as well. We also have Gomamon. We should probably be leveling up a Gazimon. And maybe this Betamon as well, but let's uh, throw up Floramon. Since she can Digivolve now, too. So we want to level her up. And we could... Mm, that might be an idea. Well, you can't talk. Head out there. Destroy the bases. First things first, let's talk to the Gardromon, who's wanting quiet time to yourself. Such a crime. No, but it's not easy. You should go for it. Bastard. What would you do if someone told you an idea you believed in was incorrect? Thank that person. Well, we're going to have to destroy you. Makes you think, huh? I just made you super angry. Well, we'll go ahead and digivolve you to get you going super fast. Go towards the thing. Hmm, let me see. Let's see some movement. Oh, I won't even get into range. Oh, yeah, because they're slow as fuck. I'll set you there, and then we'll digivolve probably the next turn. Make a united front here to murder. And we don't really... I don't really want more Gatsuman, Getsuman. Nah, let's just get experience by killing them, because I think you get more experience by annihilating the enemies, then recruiting and getting them away that way. He's really coming in. Go, Gazimon! United Front! health do you have? You have one, so let's go annihilate you. Hopefully be able to get back in. So smiggity smack. Stamina crystal, hell yeah. And again, I need to really put better, like, items onto everyone. Hmm. Hmm. They're all... I know. We'll keep up the United Front. We'll digivolve you. Well, did you? Well, let's see. Why don't we also physical attack boost? But we can also talk to others. It seems. But we'll have to see, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, Digivolve! 
Very interesting that he's already ready to go because... Probably because he has such a nice... Bibbidi-bop with Kaito. Still interesting that you become Vegemon. Come fight! Rude. I'll throw you down here so you can block off the side from being attacked. Poor Gazimon. He's being assaulted. An assaulted peanut. Go ahead and destroy you as much as we can. Surprise, motherfucker. Your flank is ready to be eaten. I wonder if he can attack through the small. Let's see. Accuracy is 100. Transfer team up is pretty good. And considering everything. Let's try and get you down. Haha, <laughs> team up attack chance. Hell yeah. And the big man's here to annihilate your face. Smack him from the top ropes. With the horrific attack. <laughs> Go in, Gazimon, for the kill for the family of all. Interesting that you actually have voice lines and not just noises. Levels up for L. I'll definitely need to go through everyone's inventory. We also got another stamina crystal. But it is... Wait, wrong button. Please don't tell me it takes... <laughs> I was gonna get very angry if it's like, meh. By the way, because you traveled again, you have to spend a turn. I would have hated that. Utter manic eating the soul. Oh wait, now I'm extra scared because now I won't want to, like, uh put things on to other Digimon because what if they disappear? We do have stamina crystals to raise HP. Hmm. The skill crystal should go to our Digivolving Digimon. HP recovery every turn. Anti-wind, Aegis is already... Vexing potency. Let's get the boy just ready for murder. Hmm. Okay, but let's see. Equipment for everyone else. We do have... Let's see, is there anything else here? Saint Knuckle. That's very expensive. Hmm. 
Nullifying Paralysis. A thunderbolt hovering above an X. Does it prevent numbness? Hmm. Well, we should. Greatly raises physical attack. Raises speed. Special defense. Hmm. I'll give you an amulet acorn. I'll give you some giant mushrooms. I guess raise your special attack a little bit because I'm going to have you a lot. You have the diddly d, so I don't want to give you too much. But you could use a crisp apple. And probably the other amulet acorn, because you're our straight in their face fighter. Pretty good. Maybe some giant mushrooms. You could use a crisp apple and a giant mushroom. What about you? You probably need the other crisp apple. I'll give you some power apples. The thing is, I'm scared about you, because if Shuji dies, all of my training into you will go away, and Shuji just seems like the next to die. To me, and I'm scared. I'm scared, Dad. But I definitely then think that the two that re... Well, I guess you, you need some. Let's see. Let's give you a power... But you don't really use physical attacks, do you? Let's uh, look at your skill. Yeah, because uh, that's specific. Yeah, okay. I wish I could look at its moves. Vegemon's moves. Like, properly look over its, like, stuff. Oh, and you don't have any equipment. Hmm. I'll give you a stamina. Let's see what else. And a skill crystal. Or do you have to hold the thing? Yeah, you have to hold the move to use it. Hmm. So if I want to use Venom Trap... Uh, you'd have to lose the HP. While also putting you at risk of not having enough SP. We could give you Sincerity Melons. Liggity blug. Liggity blug. I'll keep it like that for now. I just don't know. Save the others for now. I'll make a new save. Because now I have two turns. Everyone seems to be in the same areas. Let's go to area. Apparently no, there's nobody in the fort. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I saved. Let's go to the shrine. Man, I sure have come a long way looking for Agumon. I doubt he's gone much further. I think I hear something. <laughs> That's him! What's he doing humming to himself out here? Hey, Agumon! Ah! Ah, Takuma! It's just you! You startled me! <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing out here? Ta-da! Look at this! What is all that? Well, I was thinking of what might shoot people up, and this is all the stuff I found. Wait, is that why you were running off? That's right. Remember what you told me? You said to cheer people up. I should do something for them I'd like done for me. Since I've been collecting stuff I thought would help make, make them feel better. Uh, sounds like his own way, Agumon's being really thoughtful. Thanks, Agumon. I'm sure everyone will love what you found. I hope so. That makes me really, really happy. But that does m leave, like, what else is there? The bibbity bop in the forest. That's probably because it's oh, you're so far away, but something has to be there. Earnest banana with legs. Now the question is, do I even want to? Nope, it's gone. Huzzah! Go to area. Damn it! And now they're there. But I think it's important to endear myself to Kaito. <laughs> kind of looks pretty pissed. Then we have to calm him down. Another earnest banana. Is there anything in the closet? Oh yes, if it gets dirty. Well, let's do a final save. And talk to Kaido. Oh, hey Kaido, what are you doing here? Oh, I don't know. I didn't want to intrude on you guys or anything. Hey, come on, you're one of us now. No need to hang back. If only I'd seen through her disguise sooner. Things wouldn't have ended like that. It's not like it was all your fault. Everyone else got tricked, too. None of us blame you, Kaido. Well, I still feel bad about it, okay? I've been acting so selfishly this whole time, only thinking of myself. But I only did it because I thought it would be the... I would be the one to pay the price. I couldn't do anything back there, even though it was me who got Ryo into that mess. I'll never forgive myself. No, Kaido, it wasn't your fault. There was nothing anyone could have done. That's right. It was out of our hands. Still, I wanted to apologize. I feel like there was more I could have done. So, sorry. I've always considered Kaido brash and thoughtless, but really he's a good guy. With a strong sense of what's right, surprisingly honest, and even common sense. Time to save, to get the power, the affinity. And yeah, I'm not going to bother talking to the ki two kids because they were late. Even though I probably should have maybe not spent so much time talking to the Digimon since I didn't really get too much out of it. But at the same time, well, I want to hold through all my consequences. You're a good guy. You know, Kaido, you're actually a good guy. Hmm? What's this now? Well, you thought something was wrong and you apologized, right? And when it comes down to it, you're concerned about what happens to us. So I figure you must be all right. No, I don't know. I just want, don't want anyone else getting caught up in my problems. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you're such a liar. Anyway, enough about me. You sure the others are gonna show up because I'm not waiting past noon? And I'll go ahead and do it because I didn't get it. I'm a fool. I just want to be nice to people. I'm gonna assume honest is the proper answer then. You're really honest. You can be surprisingly honest sometimes, you know that? Huh? What are you going on about? You're embarrassing me. That's right, Takuma. In his case, it's just that he's too dumb to lie. Hey, I don't want to hear that from you. And yet he always has an ear for what Drachman has to say. I do think he's an honest side. But he might get upset if I bring it up again, so I better not. Interesting. He doesn't like being told that he's honest. So, 
I guess he's, he likes being told that he's got sense. You know, you actually have some common sense, Kaido. Oh, what's this all of a sudden? You can be reckless and short-tempered. You don't really have a way of words, but you're always thinking of what you can do from you. And I think that's great. What? That's not... I'm not... No. What? Kaido, what's wrong? Forget it, it's nothing. Ha-ha! <laughs> but thanks, Takuma. Anyway, enough about me. You sure the others are gonna show up because I'm not waiting past noon? Okay, I got it already. Man, I shouldn't even be wasting time talking like this. Huh? Now he's angry? Why? <laughs> I'm sure it's just a cover and he's really feeling embarrassed. What a liar. Hey, I can hear you. And I'm serious about not wasting time. We've got an enemy monsters and weird fog out there. Yeah, he's right. We've got no uh, uh we've got to we've got no end of things to be concerned about right now. Oh yeah, and that reminds me. What were those creepy hands that came out of the fog? That's been bugging me too. Drachmon, do you have any of the others know anything? Uh, I'm not really sure myself. You don't know? Sorry. Well, that's okay. You were trying to cheer me up the only way you knew how. Thanks. Whatever else is true, Kaido and Drachmon make a good team. But for real, man, the heck is this? I can get some whack-ass texts, but I can't send anything back to anyone. You too, huh, Kaido? You mean I'm not the only one? Yeah, everyone else too. We were thinking of heading to the radio tower, actually. What, and leaving you all by your lonesome? We gotta hurry and save her. This feels weird. Because we went to the radio tower. And we saw that the world changed. And I guess we didn't think to check our phones. Because, yeah, Rio ran off. Oh man, you said you'd wait around until noon, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's probably in the cafeteria by now. I should head back. Hopefully. Yay, everyone's here. Even the kids somehow. Oh good, you're all here. Well, how can we say no? You seem so desperate. You're one to talk. We were a bundle of nerves until just now. Hey, you promised not to mention that! Minoru was pretty upset before. Looks like he's better in, sh in better shape now. Not to mention the others. Sorry to make you worry about me all the time, Takuma. I'm feeling better now. Yeah, you really bounced back. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I'm sure it's because of you, Takuma. Haru Miyuki, thanks for coming too. Sure, sure. So about us going to rescue Miu. Right, let me just start by saying something. I really didn't want to get you all involved in this, but... Thanks. Oh, did you guys hear that? I think Kaido actually showed some appreciation just now. Minoru, no need to be sarcastic. That's right. Kaido just be was just being sincere. No need to make fun of him for it. Minoru can't take anything seriously, can he? What? Do you get it? I'm just trying to lighten the mood. And everyone's really upset right now. Oh, sometimes Minoru can go too far. Listen, Kaido, you don't have any reason to feel you're dragging us into this. Yeah, we all want to rescue Miu anyway. If anything, I think we owe you an apology. We all knew you were anxious to start looking for Miu. Sorry we took so long. No, it's cool. After what happened yesterday, I get it. Anyway, will you help me out? You bet. Hey, not so fast! Given the situation, I hate to bring this up, but are you, so, are you serious about this? Poor Lopmon. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. You know how dangerous it is out there. Remember the enemy monsters, the strange fog? What's the same you hasn't already round up like Ryo? Shoji, how can you even say that? I'm just trying to look at this objectively. So you're saying Mew's objectively doomed? How dare you! Hey, no need for this to get violent. Don't forget we've got little kids here. I don't, it doesn't look like you're scared. Sorry, but what you're saying is one thing I will not accept. I have a responsibility for the lives of everyone here. I'm the leader. It's up to me to weigh the options and make the most prudent decision. Don't give me that. You're just looking for an excuse to cover for your own cowardice. Kaido, stop! That's enough! I am not a coward! Maybe a hothead like you can't see it, but as the oldest one here, I have a responsibility! Lotman's gonna get fucking hit. Abusive father. Shuji, please, try not to get so worked up. Kaido has his own responsibility. He's Mew's older brother. That's why he's so desperate. I... I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> As if a spineless creep like you could even understand how I feel. You have no idea how much responsibility goes into being a big brother. So now you're telling me you're responsible? 
Your treatment of Lotmon. Case closed. Oh, we're never going to get anywhere if this keeps up. I don't like it when everybody fights like this. Yeah, me neither. I know we should stop this argument before it goes on much longer, but how? Should I side with Kaido? Respect Shuji's opinion? Or try to enlist help from somebody else? Time to save. Out of fear. Because immediately, try to enlist help feels like the more one, so that... But at the same time, I want to... Why is siding with Kaido... Wrathful? Try to enlist help. Hey, Minero, say something! What? Me? Alright, uh, what do we say we take a vote? A vote? I don't know. People's lives are on the line here. Uh, uh, just kidding. Minoru. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what to say. Anyway, uh, why don't we split up? Then one group can search while the other stays here. I don't like that. If we're going to look for Mew, we should all go. How do you all get my ideas? Why do you even ask for my opinion, then, Takuma? Sorry. Forget it. I know I asked for your help, but it's not worth all this trouble. So long. I'm out of here. So stop going up on your own! Out of my way! Ayo, Aoi, I, I believe you. What? Uh, Aoi? Well, uh, she sure shut him up. Yes, that was quite impressive. I didn't realize Aoi could get so loud. What is the point of you two fighting like this? We're wasting time. Kaido, is fighting with Shuji going to help rescue Mew? Well, no, but... Shuji, you keep talking about how dangerous it is, but you never intend to leave? I didn't say that. Obviously, we need to find Mew. But we also need to try and find a way home, at least that's what I think. Huh? Why'd Aoi get so quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> she was really picking up steam there, but then I guess she got self-conscious. Yeah, you've got nothing to be ashamed of, Aoi. That was incredible just now. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so carried away. No, Aoi. You were right. I'm sorry. Me too. Sorry, I kind of lost it. Well, sounds like we all agreed. We're going to rescue Mew. Uh, Minoru, who gave you the final say? Yeah, somebody had to say it, right? So, where do we go? I think yesterday we decided to check the amusement park. Right, according to that Tentomon guy, after Mew got away from Arokinimon, that's where she was headed. Tentomon was the one who said it was the shiny place, right? The shiny place? It sounds lovely! But are we sure that's where she went? Not a doubt in my mind. She's always loved amusement parks. So if you, she suddenly realized one was here, she'd head straight to it. And there was that giant ring in the shiny place. It looked really cool. Besides, everyone knows kids are crazy about amusement parks. I bet you both like them too, right? Haru, Miyuki? I don't know. Don't know. What? You gotta be kidding me. They don't know. Does that mean they've never been to an amusement park? Well, it sounds like she's probably at the amusement park. We'd better get going. Bye, everyone. Good luck. Oh, no, I don't think so. You're both coming with us. Again? Why? Because we can't just leave you on your own, knowing there are monsters kidnapping children. Isn't that right, everyone? Yep, no Egyptians for me. Me either. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the one thing that I agree with Shuji on. At the same time, they were doing pretty okay, surviving on their own. But yeah, Shuji is just an abusive father right now. Well, also kind of being a coward. But do we know the way to the music park? We saw it from the radio tower yesterday. Finding it won't be a problem. I'm pretty sure there's a path through the forest that leads in that direction. Right, so we just gotta get through the forest. I'll take point. You guys stay close. Uh, what's he sighing about? Actually, that reminds me. He was acting kind of weird yesterday. Hey, Haru. What? About yesterday. Uh, what happened exactly? Miyuki's always kind of strange, but sometimes Haru just seems off. Like he'll suddenly say something mature, or act like he's seen, uh, seen through things. I'm not really sure. Sorry. Okay, sorry if I bothered you. He's not. Is he not aware of it himself? Hey, Takuma! Haru Miyuki! Hurry up or we'll get left behind! Oh well, yeah, but wait up! Come on, you two. We need to hurry. Miyuki, let's go. Go. I still miss the professor.
Man, I feel like we've been walking forever and still we're not at the amusement park. It looked a lot closer up on that tower yesterday. Yeah, are we sure this is even the right way? You think I don't know where I'm going? Hey, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying, you could have gotten lost. It is difficult to maintain your sense of direction in the forest. Um, do you want me to see if there's another way? If you try it and get lost, we'll be in twice as much trouble. Oh, yeah. This is too much. I'm really starting to get tired. Saki, are you alright? Should we just stop to rest? We don't got time to rest. We gotta keep moving. Yeah, the sun will set before we're out of the forest at this rate. Sorry, my sister and I can't walk very fast. Sorry. It's not your fault. I think we're all a bit tired. You can say that again. Kaido, Drachmon, try to be more considerate. Sorry. Well, we gotta keep moving, don't we? Tacoma, are you sure we should keep going like this? Actually, I'm starting to get a little worried about that myself. Because, hmm. Not turn back. Yeah. I think we should find another way. Because Shuji leading us is probably bad. But turning back is a big no. We should find another way. We could turn back and try to find another way. No, I don't think that's a good idea. If we start trying to go every which way, that just makes us more likely to get lost. But how are things better if we keep pressing on and never get to the amusement park? Nah, we're going the right way. What makes you so sure? Instinct. You know, I'm impressed you can say that with a straight face. Hey, standing around arguing like this is only going to wear us out more. Yeah, he's got a point, fine. We should keep moving, just at a slower pace. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, boss. Whatever it is, he seems pretty irritated. Try not to antagonize him too much. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're back here. Well, we finally made it out of the forest, but... Wait, you look at that. There's still no sign of the amusement park. I don't think I've ever been here before. I wonder if there's any neat stuff around. Okay, listen, I don't think I, I can keep this up for much longer. Saki, you don't look so good. Hold on to me, Saki. I think maybe we better take a break. Yes, considering that we may still have a ways to go, a short rest seems unavoidable. Try telling that to those two. Shuji and Kaido are both pressing on with no signs of slowing down. I can understand why Kaido would be in a hurry, but why Shuji? He's gonna fucking hurt the boy. The boy! Shuji, no need to be so harsh. Yeah, she's right. Besides, we're all pretty wiped out. Well, I hadn't planned on resting until we'd reached the amusement park, but maybe. Sounds like even Shuji's starting to waver. Should we stop for a break or press on? I'd kind of like to look around here. I will save, just to be safe. I want to look around, because Agumon said there might be neat things, and that's always good. Hey, do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, me too! Me too! Now, I don't really see the point. But how else will we know if there's anything dangerous nearby? Besides, that way, maybe the others can stop and take a break. Is that why you brought that up? So we could rest? That's pretty thoughtful, Takuma. Yeah, Takuma's thoughtful all the time. What are you bragging about, Agumon? <sighs> ah, fine, all right, let's stop for a break. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sign of the fog nearby. Yeah, I don't sense anything scary like that. No complaints, Kaido? Nah. Finally! I'm so tired. Saki, are you all right? Miyuki, Haru, would you like to rest here with us too? Sure. Hmm. Poor Miyuki. Something's up with her. She just walks off. Oh, did that wake them up? Nah, I think they were just walking with their eyes closed. Which is... odd. I wouldn't walk with my eyes closed anywhere. Fear. Guess we really wore them out. It was perhaps too harsh a journey for two so young. Maybe, but it's not like we could have left them behind. Speaking of harsh, there's someone I'm worried about too. You mean Lopmon? I'm sorry, Shuji, I wound up slowing you down again. Such an abusive father. Such an abusive father. Man, sounds like he's still gonna have it rough between here and the amusement park. 
But anyway, I better get some rest. I thought we were going to look around. Well, I guess rest, look around as well. I know we're back on break, but maybe I should talk to them. Asshole. Asshole. And I'll save just to be safe. For the talking to the people. I'm going to talk to Minoru, probably about Lotmon. Hey, what do you think was going on with that Arukinimon yesterday? Well, she did call us sacrifices, so clearly she's an enemy. I wonder why, though. Good question. And by the way, why is it that Falcomon and the others are on our side? It seems like some monsters like Agumon and Falcomon are friendly. Others are willing to help us, even if they don't want to be friends like Tintomon and the uh, Gomamon. And some are obviously enemies. Yet they're all monsters. It's weird. You think so? I mean, even with humans, some people are good and others are bad. I bet it's the same with monsters. In other words, some monsters like, <laughs> are like us, others don't, and still others want to use us. When you put it like that, I guess it makes sense. Hey, are we... Hey, uh, Takuma, I wanted to thank you for what you did this morning. Huh? I don't remember doing anything special. Sure you did. You tried to cheer me up along with Saki and Labramon, remember? Only I couldn't seem to stop crying. I was kind of embarrassing, honestly. That's fine. I mean, I was feeling pretty bad this morning, too. I've just been trying to focus on what needs to get done. I can see that, and right now our top priority is to find Mew. Yeah. I've been wondering, though. Yesterday, Tintamon said Mew ran to the shiny place, but are we sure that's really the amusement park? Huh? Why not? Well, sometimes Labramon and the others are y use unique language, which has me worried. That's true. Sometimes Agumon says stuff that I don't understand at all. I don't think this is like that, though. I mean, we saw the Ferris wheel ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we did. You're right. I've probably been overthinking things. Now you have me worried, Aoi. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, Takuma. Something bothering you? I was just thinking maybe you should be spending time with Lopmon right now. That's not necessary. But it seemed like his legs were really hurting him. Doesn't that bother you? So his stupid little legs hurt. So what? He's a monster. He'll get over it. You don't have to be so nasty about it. That stupid thing's nothing but a burden anyway. He can't do anything useful like Agumon or Falcomon. But I get stuck with a lousy monster like him. It's not fair. Sounds like Shuji may need more time before he's ready to open up to Lopmon. He's gonna die! I'm just gonna say it. The one thing that's gonna connect people that, are, like, inevitably die in this game are people that don't accept their monsters. Alright, so let's get moving again. What? Already? We just stopped! You had long enough. Besides, we can't be wasting time here when we still got such a long way to go. Kaido's right. At this rate, next thing you know, the sun will be down. That's true. We really shouldn't stop much longer than this. But has everyone gotten enough rest? Saki, Miyuki, and Lopmon still seem pretty tired. Most worried about Lopmon right now. I'm gonna save just to be safe, but yeah, I am most worried about Lopmon, because he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Lopmon said his legs were sore, and I think I saw tears in his eyes. That concerns me. Lopmon, are your legs feeling better? Yeah, I can walk fine now. Shuji, I swear, I'll keep up this time. Sure, that's the least you could do. I don't see why you're telling me about it. Uh, why does Shuji always have to be so mean? It is proof that he... It is proof that he has but little room in his heart. Lopmon, do not be dismayed. Right, I'll be okay. Well, Shuji's as demanding as ever, but it does look like we can get moving. Everyone seems to be feeling better, Shuji. Kaido's right. We should get moving. Yeah. Who knows what could happen to Mew if we waste too much time. You don't have to tell me that. Let's go, everyone. I swear if Lopmon dies, but Shuji lives. Never gonna let him hear the end of it. I thought for sure we were in for more forest after we got over this pass, but... Oh no, it's Narnia! I saw the railing, and was like, that's the one sign of Narnia. Finally, I can see the amusement park. Well, that took just about forever. Uh, so that structure beyond those trees is an amusement park. That's the biggest building I've ever seen. Mew's in there somewhere. Don't worry, sis. I'm coming for you. Oh, Takuma, Takuma! The giant ring I saw yesterday is there too! It is indeed. Ferris wheel. It's called the Ferris wheel. 
Look at all the colorful buildings. That's an amusement park for you. Just looking around one is fun. Hey, this is no time to be carried away. Sorry. Oh, come on. What's the harm in letting us have a little fun? Minoru, can you imagine how Kaido must be feeling, okay? Just hold on to you. I'll find you as soon as I can. Kaido, I know you're worried, but try to keep it under control, okay? Focus too much on one thing and you're just asking to get blindsided. I know that. You, on the other hand, could do with a bit more focus, Minoru. You can say that again. Haru and Miyuki are sharper than you are, Minoru. It's because they're ghosts. Miyuki, we're almost there. We're almost there. Me. M my bad. Anyway, we're not far now. But since we've got no idea who or what might be inside, we should be careful. Dreamland! We're gonna find Kirby? Whoa, this really is an amusement park. Even if it does, does look a bit run down. Compared to the state of the schools in, this place is practically brand new. Seeing that cable car was surprising enough, but something about this place is just weird. It is kind of creepy, honestly. <laughs> Why is that? Are amusement parks normally scary? No, it's not the amusement park itself that's creepy. It's more like... There's no people. Amusement parks are supposed to be loud, bombastic, 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 and filled with noise. It's weird seeing one like this, I guess. For sure. An empty amusement park gone totally silent? That's definitely spooky. I can go look around on my own if you'd rather not go in. Oh no, I'm gonna be the first one inside! Here goes nothing! Lol. Wait, Minoru! He's gonna get nabbed. Whew. Uh, can you believe it? We get it for free. Who needs a season pass now? Unbelievable. Should we not establish that we should proceed with caution? Oh, come on, that was nothing. And he was trying to play it cool, but I can see that the way his legs are shaking. I'll just pretend I didn't notice. So what do we do now? What do you mean, Owie? Didn't we come here to look for Mew? Yes, that much is clear, but she could be anywhere in this entire park. So we just gotta search the place from corner to corner. Sure, but doesn't that seem a little less than efficient? This place is pretty big. Why don't we split up? Good idea! I'll go view Tacoma! Then I'll go with Shuji! Yeah, well, we don't know what might happen. We won't, won't want to be separated if there's a fight. Eh, you've got a point. We should all just stick together. I don't want anyone going missing. With Shuji as upset as he was this morning, I wasn't sure what to expect. But he seemed a lot more confident since we got here. It's really reassuring when Shuji is able to put it to keep it together. We're all going to back up to our world together. You got that? Yeah, Shuji. I'm pretty sure we've all got heard that. All got that. Huh. This is gonna take forever, but I guess there is safety in numbers. <laughs> Shuji's acting just like a chaperone. All right, let's head in. Hmm? Are those footsteps? Ooh. Neat. You there, halt! Huh? What the? Intruders! Not one more step! What now? More monsters? Although, these ones are a little on the small side. They're so cute! Um, Owie? <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to say anything that just slipped out! I can see why that would be your initial reaction, but... What are these things? Alright, what's going on here? Because if you want to stop me, you're in for a fight. Clearly you're up to no good. That means we're enemies. You're not to be eliminated by order of Her Majesty the Queen. Leave this place at once. Um, what are they talking about? I'm not going to be sure if we're enemies. Who's this queen? Who knows? No use trying to play dumb. You can't fool us. But wait, we're not your enemies. Oh yeah? Well, we heard you're bad monsters who kidnap children. And there's no bad monsters allowed in here. Out with the kidnappers! They're not kidnappers. Hey, how's this suddenly about whether or not we're kidnappers? We're looking for a girl who was kidnapped by a monster called Arukinimon. Her name is Mew. Have a seen her. Kinemon? You mean that evil villain? Ha, ah, you must be her you must be here on her orders. Now the truth comes out. You are her servants of Arukinimon? Well, we'll show you. No, you've got it all wrong. God, this isn't going anywhere. Don't deny it. We can see all the kidnapped children you're talking walking around with. We didn't kidnap them! 
Hey man, I wasn't kidnapped by anyone. These are our partners. Indeed, these are our trustworthy creatures who mean you no harm. Really? But then what's going on? That's all we heard from the queen. Oh, what should we do? What should we do? Hmm, this calls for a council of war! Now they're arguing about something. They don't seem like they're all that bad. Looks like they they're up to something, so what's our plan here? Maybe we should just hear them out. Uh, no way! Just look at those two little children they've taken! Yeah, that's right! They're both frozen with fear! Huh? You mean us? Us? Yeah, they're not frozen with fear, those two are just like that! How can we convince you we haven't kidnapped anyone? But if you really haven't, then uh, that would make our queen a liar! What well, makes you so sure she's not? <laughs> Lol! Silence! Our wise and invincible sorceress of a queen would not speak lies! And you're just trying to get her good side again. You don't really think that. But if we don't stay on her good side, she'll turn us all to stone. Oh, whoops, forget I said that. She'll turn you to stone? You mean you're being threatened? Yeah, that's messed up. Sounds like your queen's a little the real villain. You said it. Getting turned to stone sounds scary. Hold on, so this queen really has the power to turn things into stone? That's right. She has her powers to restore her friend who'd been turned into a rock. She has the miraculous power to turn living things to stone or bring them back to life! So even here, there's a monster with that kind of power. I don't care about any of that. Please, could you take us to see this queen? Absolutely not! Who knows what would become of us if we allowed you to trespass here? Look, we'll either talk some sense to her or beat her up for you. Now let us through! That solves all your problems, right? What? No, that's... that's not possible! What do you think? Could this be our chance? Don't get carried away. The queen's not so weak she'd fall to the likes of them. Right, there's no way. Besides, remember what the queen told us. Big humans are all bad. And these are all big humans, so all of them must be bad. Yeah, no objections from me. Big humans? What's that supposed to mean? You can't just be about size, right? Right, you think they mean adults? No, I'd hardly call us adults. Ah, this just gets me more and more confused. Damn it, I don't care about any of this. Come on, let us through already. If you want to get in, you'll have to go through us. Man, if that's how it's gonna be, I bet... I wish you'd say that from the start. Yeah, that's the kind of our strong suit. I don't know. Can't we just talk this out? That's right. Not every problem's meant to be solved by force. You're just trying to trick us, aren't you? You know, I don't see why we can't have the monsters talk this out themselves. That would be ideal. What do you think we should do, Takuma? I'm really not sure. Obviously, it'd be best to avoid a fight, but if they attack us, we'll have no choice. It'd be nice if Agumon could find a way to convince them, though. <laughs> Agumon, go! I don't see much hope for convincing them myself. Agumon, can you handle this? I'm not sure, but I'll try. And I'll help. Our diplomacy team. So we haven't kidnapped Kumar's friends. We don't work for our Kinemon. Can you expect us to believe that? Well, it's true. We were fighting our Kinemon just yesterday. What? The Arukinimon? That's right. She got away, but we did beat one of her underlings. We all worked together to take him down. Well, if you're strong enough to beat someone like that, that makes you a real threat. Damn it. I don't have time for this. I'm busting my way in. I guess that's our only option. Come on, everybody. We're fighting our way in. Oh no, no, no! What are you gonna do? We can't take them all at once! We'll have to report this to the Queen! Don't think you can get away with this! Well, so much for them. What was that all about? Beats me. Who cares? Besides, I'm glad we didn't have to fight them after all. Me too. I would have felt bad if we really had to take them on. We've been killing Bioman for a while now. Yeah, I hear you. But should we just let them go? They said they were gonna report to their queen. Yeah, that does bother me, but still. We don't have time to be worrying about those weirdos. Let's get in there and find Mew. Right, let's go. There is a big castle. Oh, this place is huge! 
Looks like we found the central plaza, meaning this is the middle of the park. Well, it's hard to say what the layout might be if only we had a map. In our world, this is where they put sh uh, on shows and things. What is a show, Minoru? It's when you've got all these characters that sing and dance or maybe go on parade. Yeah, and sometimes all these people get dressed in costumes to show up out of nowhere. Oh, sounds like fun! You might even find yourself in the middle of a performance like with no warning. Someone could just show up and shout, You there! Hold! Not another step! <laughs> I could see that. Didn't that just happen? You mean like that? That? Huh? Like what? Lol. <laughs> Dylan, stop right there! This time we mean it, you're not getting past us! You don't stand a chance! Great, not this again. You're the ones who ran away last time. We didn't run away. That was part of our strategic strategy, yeah? Your strategic strategy? Well, wouldn't any strategy be strategic? Shuji, I don't think that's the important thing here. Stop, not another step. One wrong move and you're asking for it. Huh? Who's asking for what? <laughs> you, you know, don't think we won't do it. Um, listen, we really don't want to hurt you. That's right. We tried to tell you that back at the entrance. But look how far you've chased us. That's exactly what our enemies would do. What? No! We're just looking for... Ah, I can't take this anymore! Um, Kaido? Talking like this is a waste of time. If you're gonna try and stop us, then I'm gonna beat you down! You don't scare me! Actually, you do seem pretty scared. I kind of feel bad for him. Kaido, try to stomp, calm down, would you? Shut up! Don't you try to stop me either, Takuma! What? You don't seriously intend to fight these little things, do you? Poor Patamon, Biumon, and Palmon. No, stay back! We're not gonna lose to you! After all that talk, I hope you're ready for some action! Kaido is dead serious. Is there any way I can keep this from getting out of hand? How to get to Kaido calm down for now. He will annihilate them. But let's do some sightseeing while he's about to murder them. For such a big amusement park, this Ferris wheel seems kind of small. Between that and the retro design, it's probably built a long time ago. Castle. Even from a distance, the castle walls appear damaged and weather beaten. It looks like a real ancient castle. Well, time to be harmed. Don't try and stop me, Takuma. I've had it with these things. They might have all been tricked by this queen. Doesn't matter. If they're gonna keep me from finding you, they're gonna get smashed. What's wrong? Aren't you going to attack? It's no use, I can't think of anything. If you won't strike the first blow, then I will. Bring it on. I've had it with all these blathering. Let's go. We're really gonna do this? We're really gonna let you have it? Huh? Then count me in too, Kaido. Uh, all right then. Uh, time for an all out attack. Charge! Is he really beating them up himself? Man, this is hard to watch. How's that? Had enough yet? C curse you! This time the queen's really gonna hear about this, I mean it! Well, they lived. There they go again. They sure told us. <laughs> they got nothing. Mina Rukaido, how did you do that? What? Hey, why are you mad at us? Seriously, what gives? Isn't it obvious? How could you beat those poor little things so badly? Don't you have any mercy? Yeah, how he's right. But they rushed us. Don't you see that? Back me up, will you, Takuma? What? Why are you bringing me into this? Even if they did charge us, they might not have wanted it to, you know? Yeah, I'm sure you're just scared of that queen. But you had to go and beat them up. Only because they wouldn't leave us alone. Is that really the right thing to do? I thought they were gonna burst out crying. I never thought they'd be that weak. Maybe you should have thought them. <laughs> Maybe you should have fought him, Kaido, instead of me or Falcomon. That's not the issue here. You might as well have been bullying toddlers. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? Now listen. From now on, no matter what those kids do, you will not attack them. All right already. 
Yeah, what he said. Back me up, will you, Takuma? Hey, leave me out of this! So, does that take care of that? Because I want to get back to looking for you. Right, yes, let's do that. But how do we look for her? This place is huge and she could be anywhere. We'll just have to split up and go to corner to corner, won't we? No, we can't split up, it's too dangerous! But how do we find Mew? We'll just have to go all together and to and check this place we think she might be. Nah, that sounds super inefficient, Shuji. He's right, the park is big enough. Add in the checking the buildings and take it'll take forever. Shuji, are you sure we shouldn't just split up and look around? But, but what about this mysterious queen? We'll have to be careful about her, yes. But we've all got our partners. If anything happens, I'm sure if we've worked with them, we'll get through it. Right, I'll protect you, Takuma. And I'll keep your, you safe, Aoi. Me too. I won't let any harm come to Saki. I believe we all share the same resolve. You bet we do. Me too. I'll protect Shuji. I know I can. Yeah, right, as if you could ever. Shuji, you should have more faith in Lopmon. But what about Haru and Yuki? Will they be in serious danger? They'll be okay. What? I'll be fine, as long as I have my sister. You'll be fine too, right, sis? Right. Oh, you heard him. What do you say to that, Shuji? <laughs> okay, okay. But let's not get too far from each other. And if you think you might be in danger, don't try anything stupid. Make sure you follow those rules. Right? No problem. All right. Then let's get to searching. Harumiyuki. Both of you be careful too, okay? I'll come on and I'll try to check in on you, but if anything happens, call for us. You can count on me. Okay. We will. We will. All right, let's get out there too, Agumon. Exploration. I just hope that I didn't need enough like harmony or moral to navigate that situation without the poor little Digimon toddlers from being beaten up. Okay, yes, I know. I unlocked a bunch of places. Woods by Park unlocked. Free bat. Ooh, a Bergermon. And we shall once more save because I'm paranoid. Save because I'm scared of the world. Woods by Park, because I'm a maniac. There's something here, I can feel it. Is it a shadow? He's a shadow, time to exercise shadow. Ah, it's just a bunch of Betamon. Time to beat them up. Uh. Time up to beat the family. Your family will be beaten up by God. God himself will not be able to save you. Prepare to be annihilated, little beta mom. I come to eat your soul. Go ahead and digivolve him. And then put him right there to begin taking attacks and such. Whereas you... Everyone can get ready. We'll try to send somebody ahead to get the treasure chest, if at all possible. We'll probably send Falcomon's Digivolve form up on ahead. Suckers. Hmm, I'll t defend from there. I'll bait him. And 
house, and I'll do mom there. And I won't bother digivolving them just to be safe. We'll make them take the first attack. Aha, you missed, sucker. Stop hissing, ugly snake weasels. And then we just need to make sure that we don't annihilate them too badly. I think this might be a good place to be. Smack him from the side. Punch to the side. And just smack him in the face. Go ahead and annihilate him. Eyes. And I'll move him in front just cause. Punch him in the side. Take that. Your liver is mine. And you can just be there. Quit biting his cankles. Hopefully he'll be able to get into range to annihilate the box. It has 250 health. So we'll have to hope. Let's see. 338, so it should annihilate. I swear to God, if you missed. Giant mushroom. Yay. Stats. I should get more excited over stats than anything. Because it's free stats. Murder. Go ahead and digivolve you for giggles. Kill. Punch him in the face because he's ugly. You ever get a hit by an eyeball? That would be a disturbing fate. And we got a giant mushroom from it, and only a giant mushroom. Hope this is an item and not a shadow. More ribs! Ribs. Prime ribs. Well, I guess we should begin at the central plaza. Miyukiharu and Minoru, should I call out to them? Start with Minoru, since he's closer. It's so weird to be here when nobody else is around. Yeah, you're right. It's hard to describe the feeling. It's almost like you can still hear the crowd even though nobody's here. Still, this isn't too far off when I imagined it'd be like if we rent, rent out a park. You thought about that, huh? You secretly a huge romantic or something? Huh? Why would you say that? I mean, normally when a guy rents out an amusement park, it's for a girl, right? You can do that? You can just rent out an amusement park? Hmm. That sounds like a fun date to you. I, I never even thought about it like that. Uh, then why would you take... <laughs> why would you... Then who would you take with you if you rent out an amusement park? I can't believe we're talking about this, but Minoru won't let up until I answer. And if I'd say I'd like to take my girlfriend, I'll never hear the end of it. You have a girlfriend? Maybe I should say Minoru. He might appreciate that. Let's try to get that shit. You, my friend. I'd like to take you, Minoru. What? Me? Why? Well, if it was just you and me, we'd be free to relax and have a good time. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about it like that before. We could do like a hundred coaster ride challenge. That sounds awesome! You really know how to have, have fun, Takuma. 
Uh, I don't know if I'd be up for an 100 coaster ride challenge. <laughs> don't worry, I was only kidding about that. But we should totally run out of an amusement park when we get back. You said it. Now I think it's time to get back to searching for clues to find Mew. We better hurry too, since we wasted so much time our talking. Oh, so you're saying that's my fault. Mm, gotta find those clues. Gotta find them all. How about you two? Hey, is that Miyuki and Haru? Hehehe, <laughs> isn't this fun, sis? I've never been to a place like this before. Who knew Miyuki could smile like that? And Haru looks like he's enjoying himself too. Oh, I want to ride that one next. Yeah. It's gone to those two. I mean, I guess they seem like they're having fun. And really, why shouldn't they? This world may be harsh, but this is an amusement park. It's easy to forget, but this is what normal is like. Everything has else has been weird. I'm kind of relieved. It's nice to see these the side of these two. Takoma, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Agumon. Isn't it nice to see Haru and Miyuki having so much... Wait, what? If you're looking for Haru and Miyuki, they're over there. They already moved? They move fast? Those two are just standing around again. Ah, but I could have sworn they were over there. Miyuki is back to having that blank look on her face. Haru seems like he's a little grumpy too, just standing there holding her hand. Guess they're back to their usual selves again. That's weird. Is something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. Actually, is something bothering you, Haru? You seem to be in a worse mood than usual. No, not really. I'm just worried about my sister. Sister. Miyuki's just as expressionless as ever, but... Am I imagining things, or does she seem different than usual? Is Miyuki enjoying the amusement park? I think so. I think so. Okay, well, that's good. Still, it's odd. Was the Miyuki I saw over there some kind of illusion? Well, I know one thing for sure. Well, maybe music was smiling, just no illusion or not. It's something I want to see again. You shouldn't be wanting to see illusions. What? You heard that just now? I did. You know what, Takuma? Let's get her to smile for real sometime. Yeah, good thinking, Agumon. Let's do it. All right. That's one more thing for us to do. So, is Agumon... Psychic? What was that? Because we clearly saw them. Hmm. Oddness. Also, where's Falcomon? How oh, should I say something to her? I should murder her. No one will see it coming. The real villains are the humans. That would be kind of a weird twist. In a Digimon anime. If the real threat came from a human going crazy and trying to kill the main protagonists. Oh, I saw a thing. Gib. Oh, another... It's been a while since we got one of these. What's this? It feels like a voice or someone's consciousness in my head. The girl I'd saved said about entreating me. Hey, you're a god, ain't you? Save my village, you've just gotta. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a god or anything. Saving a human child on the verge of death had gotten uh, it treating me like some deity. I don't exactly hate the idea, but just how do I put it? It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, please, your holiness, save us. I'm begging you. As the girl pleaded with me, she wobbled on the spot, her stomach growling, so hungry. Uh, hey, pull yourself together. It's food. You need food, right? Uh, I want to eat until my stomach bursts. This is bad. I've got to do something. I may regret it, but what choice do I have? I had to do something. Hey, wake up. I made some food. Uh, well, something smells delicious. I brought the child to my den. Not just my den. A bunch of my friends live here, too. None of us are very strong, so we don't usually let outsiders in. Still, this child shouldn't be a problem. These are my buddies. All of us whipped up some food for you. Wow, look at all of them. I knew that this is the land of the gods. I told you I'm not... Ah, forget it. Here, blessings from the gods. Eat up short stuff. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, your holiness. The child reached in, uh, for a roasted fish, pinched it around the middle, and popped the whole thing into her mouth. Mmm, delicious. I've never had anything so tasty in my life. <laughs> you don't say. That baby's pretty hard to find, you know. Here, try something else. Okay, hmm. How about this mushroom, then? Wait, what about this mushroom? There's rocks in it. Oh, you can't eat those? Then eat around the hard parts. Okay, let's see. Wow, this is great, too. Whew, glad you like it. From the looks of it, humans like this girl can't stomach everything we can. What a shame. The minerals on those mushrooms taste so good. Thank you, so thank you, my god. This is the first time my belly's ever been so full. Is that right? Glad to hear it. We're different beasts, to be sure, still. I could feel it, the desire to protect her smile. Very interesting. Wonder what that story is. 
in the end. But let's talk to Ali. So, do you think those little guys are okay? You mean the monsters from earlier? I hope they weren't hurt too badly when Kaido and Minoru attacked them. And I'm worried about that awful queen they seem so scared of. Ali's got plenty of her own problems right now, but she's worried about those monsters. She really is kind. Then again, she did say she thought they were cute. Maybe she just like cute things? Uh, Takuma, is something wrong? No, not really. Just in case. Hmm. Hmm. You love cute stuff. I was just thinking that you sure must love cute stuff. Wh what makes you say that? Her whole face is turning bright red. Well, uh, you said yourself you thought those little guys were cute before. Then when you got so anxious about them, I figured it was because you like cute things. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have let that slip. Hey, you don't have to apologize. Besides, those things really were cute. I don't see why you have to hide. What's wrong with liking cute things? You, you don't think it makes me seem frivolous? Not at all. Ha-ha! <laughs> really? That's great. Thanks, Takuma. Be yourself, Owie. But this is no time for us to be chatting, is it? We need to track down some clues that will help us find Mew fast. Nothing left to do here. I guess, where is Shuji? Shuji! And Drachmon, and Falcomon, and Labramon. Is that Saki? Maybe I should talk to her. Maybe I should murder God. An old sunbleached tent is set up here, though I have no idea why. Maybe it was part of some sort of circus performance. Or maybe it was just a temporary building. What is this place? I've never seen anything like it before. It's wonderful. You think so? It gives me the creeps, to be honest. Nobody's here. There's no sound from the crowd. Still, it is... I just realized... The Haru and Miyuki we saw were probably them when they first got into the digital world. But then they would have known what an amusement park was, wouldn't they? Because they were confused about this place, right? Hmm. Just starts to make it seem odd. Very, very odd. So it is kind of exciting to be in an amusement park. You like amusement parks too, Saki? More like I've always liked the idea of them. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, never mind. Forget I said that. I'm a protagonist. I never do that. Isn't this wild, though? It feels like we have the whole place to ourselves. I can almost imagine it as a special event, like a magical night of, mystery of mystery or something. This is pretty rare experience, and the rundown parts only add to the charm. Yeah, I could see that. But I'm a little worried about you, Saki. Are you sure you're not overdoing it? W what do you think? What do you think that? Why do you think that? I mean, I think that it would be obvious after how exhausted she was earlier. But I wonder if she'd get mad at me if I said her enthusiasm was a little too much. She also seems kind of wistful, though. Maybe I shouldn't mention that either. Does that mean she, the smart thing to do is just say I sort of got that impression? I want to say you're wistful. Hmm. You seem wistful. You just had this wistful look in your eyes for a while now, so I was concerned. Oh my god, Takuma, have you fallen for me that badly? No, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I know, I know, I was only kidding. It's just nice to be in an amusement park again, that's all. She got me, she turned around, turned it around. Hmm, maybe she'd want me to be blunt? Hmm. hmm. No reason. Oh, no reason. I just kind of got that impression. Yeah, uh, you did, huh? Oh boy, so I get the feeling I should have, shouldn't push this any further. You know what? Forget it. I'm sure I just got the wrong idea. Never mind. Huh? I mean, after everything we've been through since we came to this world, why wouldn't you get excited about being in an amusement park? Takuma. You know, despite the situations we're in, I'm kind of happy to be here, too. Yeah, I think it's the same for me. And thanks for not pushing me more. Huh? Did I- did you say something? Nope, not a thing. Well, what are you doing? We should be looking for clues from you. Otherwise, Kaido will definitely fly off the handle again. Nothing left to do here. Except go to Kaito. Is this where Shuji's gonna die? I swear he's gonna die. Oh, hey, it's them. Oh, no, it's you guys again. Took the words right out of my mouth. Why'd we have to run into you three here? 
shut up. You're the ones who've been following us. No, we really haven't been. Well, it ends now. We won't allow you to go any further. So what are you gonna do? This time, this time we're really going to eliminate you like Her Majesty ordered. Not this routine again, so what's our move? I don't see what else we can do, but... Don't you dare. You promised you wouldn't hurt them. Remember? All right, I remember. That means we can either try to convince them again, which seems unlikely, or we can ignore them. Alternatively, maybe they'd run off if we tried to scare them. I say we ignore them. I guess we'll just have to ignore them. Yeah, it seems like our best option. If you say so. Are you sure that'll work? They won't stop glaring at us. So don't look at them. If we just leave them alone... Turning your backs, eh? Now you're wide open! Attack! Oh, hey! Ouch! Cut that out! How'd you like that? Oh no, they look completely unfazed! Good, we'll get them next time! Pull back! Retreat! Takuma, are you alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm totally fine. Man, what was, is their problem? I almost feel bad for him, you know? <laughs> well, now that they're gone, we should get back to looking for Mew. Haru, Miyuki, are you both feeling okay? You're not too tired? We're fine. Fine. Alright, let's get back to it then. Hmm. Yeah, because I still want to know what their deal is! What is your deal?! It just feels odd and weird. Hmm. I'll double check everything just to make sure. Well, nope, he says nothing left to do here. And there's nothing to scan, so yeah, we should head back to the diddly dee. To the castle courtyard, where we just were. Is that Kaido? Maybe I ought to say something to him. Your sister is dead and she'll never be found. Obviously, and also, I haven't been saying it, but obviously Mew is the queen. No idea what the- oh, she saved her friend from being a stone. No idea what that is. Maybe Tentomon ran and found her? But still, kind of weird that she'd be like, hate the older people. Le. Man, where could Mew be hiding? I hope she isn't crying any somewhere. Kind of always gets this surprisingly gentle look on his face when he's like this. He must really care for Mew to act this way. Though, to be honest, from what little I did see of her, she struck me as kind of weird. Tr Takuma, why are you staring at my face like that? You've been giving me the oddest look. Oh, I was just trying to think what your sister must be like. Yeah? What do you want to know? It's hard to know how to answer when he asks me like that. Should I ask him what he likes most about her? Maybe what he finds the cutest? But again, that might make him feel embarrassed. What else is there? I guess I could ask if it's annoying having a sister. Well, he obviously cares about her, so let's ask him what he likes the most. What do you love the most? So, what do you love most about Mew? Huh? What kind of question is that? Oh, well, to look at you, I'd never think you'd be so overprotective of your sister. So I was thinking you must really must care for her, and I wondered why that was. Don't get any weird ideas. I don't have a thing for my sister, and it's not like I'm all lovey-dovey with her either. It's just, you know, she's family, okay? I knew he'd get embarrassed. You shouldn't ask such weird questions! But my, your infinity went up. Well, one thing's for sure, you really do care about her. I'm, I'm all she has, so I have to look out for her. You're a responsible brother. Even if you might be a little overprotective, it's understandable. Damn it, we've been through the whole park and not a single clue. Guess we have to go to the castle? Where the hell could Mew have gone? Is there anywhere we haven't checked? I'm pretty sure we looked everywhere. Man, what do we do now? Hmm, does anyone else hear footsteps? Not me. Are you sure you're not hearing things? None. I hear them too. Sounds like they're headed this way. <gasps> Don't tell me it's a thing from yesterday! Oh no, not again! Howie, it's okay. You don't have to worry those footsteps sound more like... Lol. Intruders! There you are! Oh, these things again. Again. How many times is this now? Seriously, don't they ever learn? <laughs> Thought you'd get away with what you did to us before, huh? Well, now we're here for some payback. Well, could you please just leave us alone? Don't think you can escape. This time of all times, we're really going to eliminate you like Her Majesty ordered. So much for trying to reason with them. They won't listen to anything I say. Then I guess I'll have to try. 
After all, I'd hate for us to have to waste any more of our time here. What if we just don't make eye contact and engage, or engage with them at all? I feel like that's the best way to deal with them. We could ignore them, but I think I have a better idea. What's that? We lie and tell them we're fellow servants of the Queen. They seem like they'd be dumb enough to buy it. Hey, what are you whispering about over there? Just going over our strategy. Well, enough of that. Let's see what you've got. Takuma, we need to decide something fast. We could have Shuji try to reason with them or ignore them like Saki suggested, or we could risk pretending to be fellow servants of the Queen. Just ignore them. I think Saki has the right idea. Let's just ignore them completely. Oh, all right. I'll try. <laughs> just turn away. <laughs> hey, why are you all looking away? Don't respond. Just don't respond. What's wrong? Can you not hear us? Or are you just not listening? Gotta ignore that too. No reaction. Hey, maybe if we attack now, we can take them. I can hear them, but I'm not going to engage. Aha! Take that! Yow! Hey, stop it! That stings! How do you like that? You learn your lesson? I better ignore that too. <laughs> Where are attacks so weak? They're not worth a response. These humans are tough. There's only one thing to do now. Retreat! Retreat! You're so silly. Uh, why do I feel so tired? It's tough having to keep dealing with the same scenario. Well, next time they try and mess with me, they're not getting off so easy. You, you don't mean you're going to hurt them, do you, Kaido? I gotta say, Ali, after all this, Kaido's not the only one who's mad at them. But let's just hope we don't run into them again. I don't know. I feel like now that you've said that, we're sure to run into them. Huh? Why's that? It's like foreshadowing. Yeah, only not like before someone dies. More like before meeting someone. So what happens if you're in this shadow? No, you don't get it. It's like if this were a comic book. That's where it would happen next. Or I guess that's not a very good explanation. Foreshadowing is like seeing a shadow where the shadow will be. Whatever. Let's just get back to looking for Mew. We still haven't found any clues yet. Good idea. Where could she have gone? Well, just back to the central plaza that had no nothing. Everyone's here. Did something happen? Oh. I will check it with me camera. My camera gamera. Choice ribs. They're the choicest ribs in all of the outback. Alright, we're all here. Now let's discuss our current situation. What's there to discuss? We haven't found anything. Not a single clue. Hey, no need to bite anyone's head off. It's not like you're the only one who's upset. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. And here you're all trying to help me. But I just can't stand this. Hey, don't worry about it. We understand. Though I'm not sure what more we can do. Where else are we supposed to look? The castle! The castle! I get the feeling we shouldn't stand around here too long either. Why not? Well, it's just a hunch, but whenever we get together like this, we also get company. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Right, how could I forget? Wait, I don't get it. I'm saying if we stand around here talking for too long, those pesky little things will... Ta-da! Looking for us? No way! They actually showed up? Seriously? This is like instant foreshadowing! Hey, don't act so surprised. You're the ones who called us out here. We didn't call for anyone. You most certainly did to settle things once and for all. That's right. This time of all times, not on any other time, but this time we'll finish you because those are Her Majesty's orders. What do we do, Takuma? Let me think. Why those stupid, blabbering, pesky little brats? Kaido? I've had it with you! <laughs> Looks like Kaido's finally snapped. If you little twerps mess with me one more time... Kaido, no, stop. Please calm down. Don't you tell me to calm down. I am done with this. But oh, you're terrifying them. That big human is scary. Oh, your majesty. I hate this. They're crying. Crying. Okay, fine, whatever, but what the hell are we supposed to do? I'll go talk with them. You stay here, Kaido. We tried that already, and it didn't work. Just let me handle this. Ugh. Oh, great. Now Aoi's getting mad. It's no more than Kaido deserves. Who does he think he is, yelling like that? But are you sure about this, Aoi? Of course, it's not like they're, go they're that bad. Listen, I'm sorry we scared you like that. I'm just going to get a little bit closer, okay? I'm not going to try anything. <sighs> Why is she crouched down like that? To look them in the eyes? 
She's treating them like you would if you were talking to a little kid. She doesn't want them to feel threatened. You know how kids can get scared when adults look down on them? Like the Numamon tried to do, to loom over you. Oh, now I get it. Yeah, I think I know what that's like. <laughs> what, are you criticizing me? I'm never scared when you look down at me, Takuma. <laughs> okay, despite the fact that Shuji is an abusive father, the fact that, he <laughs> that Lotmon had the the nerve to sass him like that. Yeah, I think I understand that. And immediately Shuji's just like, are you criticizing me? <laughs> it's horrible of their relationship, but it's funny. Shh, let's focus on Aoi right now. This place obviously means a lot to you, so we're sorry we came in without permission. But we're not here to do anything bad. We're looking for our friend's little sister. Does that sound okay to you? That's really all you're here for? Well, they're actually listening to what Aoi has to say. That's it. We were looking for a young human girl named Mew. A young human girl? You mean like the queen? What? Is your queen a young human girl? That's right, she is. Oh, so maybe the queen will know something about your friend. Really? Do you think she would tell us? We'd have to ask her to find out. But would you mind as going to ask her then? We could do that. Let's go to our secret hideout and see what she says. Your secret hideout? Okay, well, go ask. Wait, uh, they ran off. Their queen is a young human girl? Yes, that's what they said. A young human girl just like Mew. I don't like this. Not one bit. Huh? Why not? Come on, we gotta follow those little guys. But why? I got a feeling I know what we'll find if we do. Don't lose sight of them, okay? And don't let them catch on. Uh, okay, come on, let's do what Kaido says. We gotta follow them so they don't catch on to us, right? I can do that. Let's go, we gotta hurry. Hey, you don't think we're being followed, do you? Nah, we're fine. Now come on, we gotta go see her majesty. Ugh, that was a close one. Sure was, but it sounds like they didn't spot us. I have to wonder though, why do they keep walking around the castle? Whoa, Takuma, look at that! They're going inside! <laughs> the little pier around the corner. Oh, yeah, they are, so that must be a back door. Since the castle gate was closed, we had no idea how to get in. Okay, that explains that. Apparently, this was another entrance. We never even noticed. We sure didn't, but let's head inside. Treasure chest! Treasure chest! Treasure chest. Also, I like the rendering of this place. Wow, this hall is really impressive. It's like we're in a real castle. Which way do you think those little guys went? Can't believe we lost sight of them already. Where could they have gone? I'm not sure, but let's try heading farther in. Treasure chest. Treasure chests have been placed out intentionally, probably as decorations. Maybe a monster would jump out if you opened one. Hmm, now I'm just imagining things. Ooh, a learning... We have lots of learning crystals. I doubt they went out the window. My brain was just, like, trying to press the cor... Like, not corner buttons, but the shoulder buttons to navigate the menu. I think corner. Look, Agumon, just around the corner to the right. There's lots of tiny footprints. They must belong to those three. Let's try and follow them. Castle unlocked. That looks different. That looks different. There's something here. I can feel it. Unsealing light crystal. I'll have to look at that. Shadow. I knew it. I got the mood on that one. Oh boy. Actually, I'll put you... Now let's put you in front as well. I 
I will throw Lotmon out here just so he, he can get some levels. Start bat. Growlmon's coming to murder you. Yeah, because I don't think we can talk to them. Let's take a look. Can we talk to the enemies? We can talk to the Tusk Mom. I'll pulverize ya! Scary, but I'll win! He's angry. This is my turf. Hunt for yourself! So he likes aggressive. Alright, you wanna do fun things? Even more than you. Join me. 44%, you bastard. And I'll wait to talk to them, because I want that treasure chest. Poor child. I just... Uh, Lotmon's existence is gonna be a tragedy. I just know that. How much health? 250? No, not attack. What would you do? Attack your allies. Smack the side of that chest. Potency crystal? Hell yeah. Come fight us, fools. Oh, wait, I forgot. I can try to get uh, the Tuskmon on our side. All right. He didn't say, not if I beat you. Everyone just gets in my way. Calm down already. I have to be fierce with him. Have more patience. All oh, right, now he's angry. I'll annihilate you all to say, because you're a tool, a toolish fool, a foolish, toolish, foolish fool, a whore. Lotmon's never gonna get to Digivolve, is he? To us. Fight us, cowards. We'll come for you eventually, little man. You go, uh, you go with Growlmon. We'll box him in. I'll go ahead and digi... Yeah, we'll go ahead and digivolve him. Give him some stats up. Actually, we can just... Yeah, we can just super box him in. Go ahead and evolve you as well. But not, not in turns. We want you to move. Everyone evolve and attack, except for you, uh, my boy. Except for you, Agumon, because you do not have... Don't want our base type to come out. Huh, interesting. Interesting. 
Ice Blast. My poor boy. Take him from behind. Schmiggity schmack that booty. Yeah, just annihilate the pool. Ooh, that was a critical. And then we'll go ahead and move. So we can scare the Betamon in submission. Or we'll just murder him right now. Bye-bye. Is that enough range? Can he be annihilated? Kill. Kill the boy. We got decent things. And that's all for this area. So we move on. Just Minoru, huh? This hall looks a lot like the other one, but it's not quite the same. Seems that way. Man, just how far into this castle are those kids gonna go? I scan the candelabra. I got an anti-light crystal. So a darkness crystal. Can I not talk to you? Let's take a look at the floor. It sure is dusty here. But nothing seems out of place, I think. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Mitaru, no! It's you! What a huge sneeze. Hey, I couldn't help it. That's what we call an irresistible force. Don't say that now. This is bad if they heard that. Oh my, I'm first up running in this direction. We're intruders, find. Oh man, they're on to us. So much for not being noticed. We better get out of here and start back to the first hall. Now if we made it this far, what a waste. Whew, we made it back this far without being spotted. This time we'll find out where they're headed for sure. Into the hall. Look, Agamon, this hall goes on even further in. Oh yeah, and those little footsteps keep going too. So if we head farther down this way, we should find out where they're going. Okay, Agamon, let's go. That was a weird interaction. Yeah, I'm just going that was a weird interaction. Looks like we found another hallway and still no sign of those guys. I think we they went this way. Let's check it out. Yeah, I guess. Window. There's a roller coaster right outside the went broken window. If it were running, I'm sure it would make an impressive sight. Hey, Saki. I wonder what's in this box. Stop, don't mess with it. Oh, this is surprisingly heavy. Slam. Oh, uh, I think I heard something break. Maybe there was some sort of pottery inside. I'm worried about that noise. You think they heard? Time to run. Oh no, I hear their footsteps. Just what I was afraid of. We can't stay here. We'll get spotted. Let's go and hide in the other hall. You mean we'll have to sneak back here again? Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, we made it back without being noticed. This time, let's check them down for sure. At this point, we have to get all the noisemakers. Look, the footprints go down to the left. They must have gone left around this corner. So there's another hall down this way? Let's go, Tacoma. Hallway. I'm at the hallway. 
I'm at the castle. I'm at the combination hallway castle. That chandelier will kill us all. Looks like another corridor, and it seems like one goes to the right. Right. All these hallways look so similar. I think I'm starting to get lost. <laughs> Let's hope that's the last one. Now, come on, we gotta find those little guys. Well, obviously, we have to break the window. This is just a normal window. It's clouded up, but I can see outside. Okay, I think we have an idea where we are. Oh, I thought that window was gonna break. Well, pillar. Pillar man. I think I see a handle here. Oh, yeah! I did see the carpet go right. Wait, this is a door. I almost missed it here in the shadow of that pillar. You think this is it? Yeah, I bet it is. Then let's go inside. Then they throw a barrel down at us. Following the monsters that attacked us, we finally found what seemed to be like a hideout. And no people. There is a robot, though. What is this place? Looks like where you'd expect to talk uh, to the king in some fantasy RPG. Yeah? You think this is an actual throne? That's the word where a king or queen sits, right? How can you be talking definitions right now? There could be an evil queen here somewhere. More importantly, we still haven't found Mew. Mew, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Kaido, cut it out. Keep yelling like that and the queen should have find us. What's going on? Who's making all that noise? Wait, I know that voice. Is that who I think it is up on that throne? Lol. Oh, it's because the Digimon. The Digimon was in a shell and brought it out of the shell. Like, oh, I can turn people to stone. I thought so. Wait, Mew is the queen? Oh, no way! I, I had no idea. Don't you fucking see a thing, Shuji? Well, who else could it be? Yeah, I had my suspicions too. So did I. I thought it might be her once we heard the queen was a little girl. Yes, I thought... I thought I found that somewhat hard to believe until I'd seen it for myself. You mean you all knew? Of course! I got it right from the start. Nah, I'm not buying that from you, Crackman. Well, now we can be sure the queen isn't some horrible monster. That's the important thing. I don't think Shuji had any idea either. Hey, what are you doing barging in here? No, I finally found you! And you're alright! I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're not hurt. Kaido has tears in his eyes. Exactly what you would expect out of a touching reunion. No doubt Mew's glad to see him too. Oh, shut up. Huh? This is the worst. Did you chase me all the way here? No, I did. Oh, come on, it's not safe for you to be on your own. I'm not my own. I've got everyone here. Everyone here? What do you mean? Are you talking about those little monsters? Well, they did say they were servants of the queen. That's right, they're my servants. Oh, except for Siokaman. She's my best friend. Servants. I don't think they like that. Hey, I said Siokaman was different, didn't I? You tell them, Siokaman. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kaido. You have very, uh, angry face. Uh, another monster? Did you call her a monster? Siokaman's the only one who understands me. That's right, Mew. So you're the one who put her up to this. Siokaman's not like that. I don't believe what I'm hearing. You're always like this. You act tough, pick fights, won't shut up, and are so annoying. No, I just... I worry about you. And anyways, I don't want to be around those strangers from other, some other school. Uh, you mean us? Mew, you, you can trust Takuma and the others. They're actually really nice. Oh, come on. I've been worried sick about you. Stop goofing off. Let's get moving. You're being bratty about this is just making things worse for everyone. Ah, uh, listen to you. You think you're so much better than me. Well, I hate you, Kaido. So there. Mew. So much for the caring and supportive brother and sister. And these two are out of control. Kaido's always trying to act all cool, but can't keep up in front of sister, huh? You never can tell what things are really like between brothers and sisters. Strangely enough, out of everyone here, Shuji seems the most calm. But I should be focused on what to do with this situation. So what do we do about this? It doesn't seem like Mew is just going to give in. I was wondering the same thing. Kaido isn't, much in, uh, isn't in much shape to help right now. 
she hates me. She says she hates me. Oh, really? She dealt him one heck of a blow. Mio might just be the strongest one here. So what are we going to do? She's still just a child. We should scold her for acting out. Without even listening to her side of things, you'll probably just make her more upset. What concerns me most of all is Mio's lack of any sense of danger. It's kind of amazing she wasn't scared on her own, even with Siokamon and the others. Maybe we should explain to her just how dangerous the world can be? But don't you think it'd be faster to tempt her with stuff? She's still a kid after all. If Haro Miyuki said we had toys and candy, I bet she'd love it! I don't think so. I'd rather play with my sister. Play. Alright, I forgot you two were like this. Okay, enough whispering! It's getting on my nerves! Get out of here already! Or else? Uh, not sure what she's got planned, but she's up to something. Takuma, what do we do? Whatever it is, we need to act fast. Should we scold her like Shuji thought, emphasize the danger like Aoi said? Or should we take Minoru's approach and try appealing to her? I'd say... Well, we've got great food. Hey, if you come with us, we've got lots of great food you could eat. I don't need your food. I've got lots of sweets and none of this is enough for me. Eating sweets all day is the best. Mew, how is that healthy? See, I knew you'd try to lecture me about that. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Don't you want some nice warm soup or a juicy piece of meat now and then? Nice warm soup and juicy pieces of meat? That's right. We may not have the best ingredients, but Ali's cookie is delicious. Well, I'd be happy to cook for you as best as I can. It does sound like maybe it could be nice. Yes, I'll use as many vegetables. Oh, no, she hates vegetables. Bleh, vegetables. No, thanks. I'll stick with the sweets. Oh, no. Uh, what is with you and vegetables? Man, I think we almost had her. I'm so sick of this. I should have known my brother's friends would be annoying. Sounds like she doesn't like us at all. Yeah, this could be bad. So what do we do, Mew? Isn't it obvious my brother's always, always worrying about me? Well, I've had enough of it. I can take care of myself. I'm going to hit the switch. No, wait, Mew, stop. This is your brother. Don't you think that's going a little far? Okay, it's fine. It's not going to kill him or anything. Mew, what do you think you're doing? Do something that will get you out of here. All right, now. So long. Wow, you really did it. Did what? Uh, wait. Ah! Well, what's happening? Yuki, hold on to me. The whole floor just tilted. Is this a kind of trap door? Why is Agumon underneath my... Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. He would be underneath me and then my arm would clothesline him. I'm falling! She just tried to murder us. She must die. Guess he dropped us down here. Where is he anyway? Is, is everyone okay? Yuki Haru? I'm here. My sister is too. Too. Well, I'm glad you're alright. From what I can tell, everyone's here. Man, why would a castle in an amusement park be set up like this? In this world, it seems to just make as much sense as anything else. And again, maybe someone made some modifications. Who? The monsters? You think we could make something as impressive as this? Who knows? After all, how would I know what sorts of things you monsters are capable of? Oh, yeah. Well, your sister sure is a piece of work, Kaido. I'm sorry. She hasn't always been like that. It's just... Something happened. Like what? She's been through a lot. That's why I swore I'd always protect her, no matter what. Not that I've done a great job. Kaido does always seem upset when he talks about Mew. I wonder what happened. But it's probably better if I don't pry. Well, I don't know what it is you and Mew are dealing with, but I think maybe you got a little overprotective and that backfired on you. You think so? I just worry about her, that's all. Though sometimes it can feel suffocating being on the other side of that. Hmm, was it just me or did Saki look really sad when she said that? Saki, is something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. Maybe I just imagined it. Then again, she said the thing with the... Uh, bibbidi bop being at the amusement park and implying that she'd never been to one before, so maybe her parents are really protective of her. Anyway, we need to think of a way for us to get out of here. Yes, we cannot simply stay here forever. Then why don't we try all looking for an exit? Got it! So we're on! Search again! We must overthrow the queen. Well, pillar. Hmm, 
everything seems normal here. Ah, it's no use. We're never going to find any clues about how to get out of here. Try not to get too wound up. Let's just stay calm and keep searching. Oh, shut up. This can't be happening. I have to find a way. I have to get everyone out now. Juji seems like he's not doing so well. I feel bad for poor Lopman, too. I wonder if it's because nothing's been going Shuji's way. He seemed like he was finally starting to settle down earlier, but I guess he's still pretty shaken up after all. Then the wall. Uh, I thought this might be it, but it didn't even move or anything when I punched it. Doesn't it hurt your hand to punch the rock like that? Oh, don't worry about that. My hands are tough. But you're bleeding. That looks like it should hurt. You're right. We should treat that hand right away. Only I don't know how. Should I call for Allie? I'm telling you, it's fine. You tell Allie she'll make a whole big thing out of it. Just keep quiet, okay? Yeah, I bet she'd really let you have it. Probably yell at you for being so reckless. Maybe underneath the bed? Bah, looks like this isn't it either. Yeah, apparently this is just an ordinary bed. And a real beat up one at that. Still the side of it uh, makes me feel sleepy. You want to take a nap on that? I don't think that's the best idea. Hey, I just said it made me sleepy, okay? Come on, we should search somewhere else. I checked the floor, the pillars, the bars, and the walls, but found no sign of an exit. Eh, I give up. Uh, these bars can't hold me. I'll bust right through them. Kaido, what are you doing? Take this! Hey, wait, stop! The noise is really scary. Scary. You're upsetting Haramuki. Just deal with it! I don't think so. That hurts my ears. And mine too. Kaido, give it a rest. You're going to hurt yourself. It's not like you're actually going to kick your way through sturdy iron bars. So what else am I supposed to do? Well, now, if it isn't more creatures who suffered at the hands of her rowdiness. Who are you? Show yourself. Oh, it's a little man. Do not be alarmed. I am no enemy of yours. Oh, look at all that hair. Who are you? Now, now, no need to get so flustered. I can explain everything in time. Yes, all in good time. But first things first, I should release you from this cell. Huh? He's just a kindly old man. Come along, this way. He, he really just let us out. Who is this old man? It's Bigfoot Junior. Very good now. The exit's over this way. We all have to sell as the old man suggested, but... Hey, should we really just be following this guy? It could be another trap. Was that? Am I so suspicious? Yeah, you heard me. How can you expect us to trust a monster like you? Shuji, you don't have to put it like that. Yeah, if nothing else, he at least let us out of that cell, didn't he? But how do you know he's not taking us someplace even worse? I mean, he had us trapped. Why would he let us out if he wanted to lead us to somewhere... That we could beat him up with numbers if we wanted to. He wouldn't have let us out without cause. Have you all forgotten what happened yesterday? Motherfucker, I am the master here. He is not suspicious. Well, no, but Shuji does have a point. No, he does not. We did get tripped by our Kinemon yesterday, and the results were terrible. But should we let that make us paranoid? Well, I won't force you to come with me. What is it you propose to do? We don't have many options. If we want to leave, I feel like we'll have to trust him. But Shuji could be right about this being a trap. In which case, should we find our own way out, or wait until Miyu's in a better mood? Hmm, let me quick check. I have lots of morale. Hmm. I feel like trusting this guy. Well, I think we should trust this guy and follow his lead. Takuma, how could you decide that so easily? Nothing about the decision was easy. But don't you think he's letting us out of that cell without telling Miyu and Siakaman to earn some trust? But you can't prove this isn't a trap. Maybe not. I just feel like we can trust this guy. I think so, too. Too. It's unusual for those children to offer an opinion without being asked. Kids can be pretty good at int uh, intu- Yeah, intu- I know it's intuition. Intuiting? This sort of thing? I think I'm convinced. If anything happens, be ready to run for it. 
Understandable. Now then, shall I resume escorting you out of this place? Yes, please. But would you mind telling us about yourself as we go? Yeah, I'd feel safer if we knew more about you. Very well, then. I suppose I can tell you about myself along the way. Oh, stop your name! Tell us your name! I am Gigimon. So, Gigimon. Sorry to ask this again, but why did you let us out of that cell? Yeah, aren't you one of Mew's servants or whatever? <laughs> I'm actually the one who was more or less in charge here until recently. You mean, you're like the old king? Oh no, I simply tried to ensure that small and weak creatures could live here in peace. But then, why is Mew the queen? All the little monsters we ran into here were scared of her. I'm afraid those I looked after are rather simple-minded and gullible. They were easily taken in. Yeah, I can see that. Her rowdiness companion is quite sharp. Her rowdiness's companion is quite sharp. She pretended to have been turned into a rock, then faked her recovery. The others now believe her rowdiness to be a sorcerer. Wait, you mean all Siakaman did was open and close her shell? That's what they meant when they said they could turn things to stone? It wasn't even some powerful monster ability? Wow, those are the monsters that live here really that dense? And they didn't you do something? Weren't you the old the brain? And why didn't you do something? Weren't you the one who'd been taking care of them? Well, they all seemed like they were having so much fun. I didn't seem the harm. Right? I took it as an opportunity to retire. Meanwhile, look at how things turned out. You should have stepped in earlier, right, Kaido? Yeah. Nah, if anything, I feel like I owe this guy an apology. Sorry my little sister's caused you so much trouble. Well, I hardly even know what to say to that. Don't worry about it. No, you don't understand. You see, I was rather enjoying myself, too. You were? Yes, you see, her rowdiness doesn't do any sort of cleaning of picking up after herself. It's given me the perfect excuse to help care for the others even more. What? It's like you're the scary type of some kindly old man. Well, sorry, but she's my little sister and I'm gonna get her to come back with me. Yes, yes, I understand. That I will leave to you. I'm sure you'll think of something. What? You're not going to offer to help us or anything? Am I not taking you to the exit as we speak? I mean, yeah, I appreciate that. And would you look at that? We talked for so long that we've reached the next path. It is still a long way to the surface? Oh, it's not much farther. But I'd better stay with you to be sure you don't get lost. Having Gigi Mon lead the way was definitely the right choice. Huzzah! Hang in there. By the time we reach the end of this path, we'll be at the surface. I like Gigi Mon. <laughs> what is it? Oh, you fall? Owie, are you alright? What happened? Oh, it was nothing. I just tripped. Sorry, I'll be more careful. Is it kind of hard to walk down here, isn't it? Miyuki, you watch your step too, okay? Okay. Yes, this area is prone to collapses. I'm afraid it's aging rather poorly. Yeah, this place is pretty beat up, isn't it? It is. I remember the state of the school was a surprise, and this place isn't much better. I wonder why they, when they built this park. Yes, well, it's been decades since we started living here. Wait, did you say decades? Is that a long time, Takuma? It's a super long time. Indeed. But the way time is reckoned here in our world may be different than in yours. Still, by my recollection, this park has stood here for several decades. How does that make any sense? Who could have built this place so long ago and how? How do they make them in your world? Well, adults use all this heavy machinery. It's like a huge construction project. In other words, such places are not built in a day. Exactly. It takes years to build an amusement park. Well, maybe it's a mistake to think of anyone actually building this place. What do you mean? Like, all sorts of crazy stuff happens in this world, right? So what if, to, uh, to use an extreme example, this place just suddenly appeared one day because of some mysterious power? Doesn't that seem like how things work here? Do you think the same thing happened with the school? That it wasn't built but created by some strange power? It does seem possible. You've been around since before this place was here, right, Gigi? Oh, yes. Why do you ask? Can you tell us anything about how it was made and how much time it took? Ah, but first you must understand the nature of this world and how it came to be. The nature of this world? Another huge topic. According to legend, the world was created long ago by a supremely powerful being. You could say this being was like a god. Indeed, it was a god from our perspective. 
If this being created your world, then schools and amusement parks would be easy. That would explain why that cable car was running too. And why the food and medicine are fine even though the school is old and run down. So wait, you're saying this has all been the work of a god? Who else do you think could do all this? I mean, I didn't have anything in mind, but I never thought we were dealing with a god. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You see, the godlike being faded away long ago, and the current caretaker of our world likely wishes to reshape it into its preferred form. So he's saying the creator of this world and its caretaker are two different beings? But maybe we're not dealing with a god, but still. Sorry, but I don't get it. Really? You know? I thought for sure you were following all this. How could I? I mean, I don't see any form that fits this together. I didn't get it either. Sorry. I see. Well, I'm afraid I can't explain things any more clearly than I already have. I'm not sure if I learned something from all that or if I'm more confused than ever. Agumon, you seem like you've been thinking things over for a while now. <laughs> You're right, it seems more... He does seem thoughtful. I guess the conversation was just that hard to follow. It's funny. Hmm? What's funny? I wonder why. What is it, Agumon? Something Jujimon say make you realize something? Oh no, I'm talking about this funny feeling I've got. You mean you haven't been paying attention? Never mind that, what's this feeling of yours? Something around you just isn't right. Now that you mention it, I sense it too. Yes, something is off. Oh, like what? I feel it too, but I'm not sure what it is. It's like, it's hard to describe. I don't like it. There must be something to it if you all can feel it, but what could it be? I don't really know. You think we should look around? Sorry, Takuma. I want to get back to Mew as soon as we can. Oh, right. We should do that. You can always take time to investigate later. My bad, Kaido. Let's start by going back to see Mew. We're approaching the exit now, but don't get too far behind. Please don't be a traitor, Gigi Mon. Anyway, here's the orgy dungeon. Ah, so this is where it comes out. Hooray! It's so bright out here! It feels like ages since I last saw the sun. Maybe it's been longer since we got dumped underground than we realized. Miyuki, is it too bright? Bright. Oh, oh, I must say, it's a little bright for me as well. So what's our next move? We find Mew and get her to come with us. Yeah, that's really our only option. You think we'll be able to be able to with the way she's been acting? She didn't seem like she was interested in hearing any more from us. Mew can be real stubborn when she makes up her mind. She isn't going to want to listen. But what else can we do? If only there was some way we could get her to listen. Hey, what if we went over Shakuman? Uh, you mean, get her on our side? Don't you think that'll be even harder? But remember how Shakuman tried to stop you just before she activated the trap? It could be worth a shot. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I believe I'd better return to the castle. Wait, Chujimon. Yes? It uh, sounds like you've been looking out for Mew. And you helped guide us all the way here, so... Thanks. Oh, don't mention it. Alright, everybody. Let's go pay Mew another visit. What now? Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, seriously. You look surprised by something. What are you looking at? Wait, what? It's those little guys. What's wrong? Where's Biomon? Help, I'm scared. Where's Biomon? The ones Mia said were her servants? Hmm, well, if it isn't Palmon and Patamon. Have they been following us? I don't think so, they look terrified. Yeah, they seem totally panicked. Run away! Enemy attack! Wait. Hey, what's going on? Oh, it's you. We've all got bigger things to worry about right now. An even more dangerous group of enemies is here. What? Who is it? Who's here? The kidnappers. They're after the queen. They came out of nowhere, surrounding the park and pouring in from every direction. We faced them down back at the throne room, but the queen's servants were all done for. You think it's them? It certainly sounds like Arukinimon and her minions. You've got to be kidding me. Talk about bad timing. This can't be happening. We've got to go up against them again. So they're attacking in order to get to Mew? Yes, they're after the queen. But we shouldn't be standing here talking like this. We need to run away. Hey, wait. This is bad. Mew's in danger. I have to go save her. 
Wait, are you just going to abandon those poor little things? Didn't you hear? The kidnappers are after Mew! Yes, if they're after the human child, Palmon and the others shouldn't come to much harm. Rushing the uh, rowdiness aside may be for the best. But shouldn't we at least come up with some kind of strategy? We need to get to lay the land, figure out how many we're up against. Yeah, and didn't they see Mew's servants were all done for? They may already have her, in which case we should prioritize our own safety. We don't have time to argue about this. Mew's life is on the line! We need to go. Come on, there's no time. We have to go now. Takuma, what's your take? You've always got the most level-headed opinion. What should we do? I, uh, I don't have time to think this over. I do think it's probably best priority saving Mew, but then again, it's really dangerous to move with no idea where the enemy might be. So do we prioritize gaining intel? Or do we put our own safety first? Takuma, don't just stand there. Say something! I'm scared, because this could be an actual thing. Gathering info. What if we get a bunch of intel on the enemy to help us safely rescue Mew? Uh, do you really think that's what we should be doing right now? Yeah, it'd be one thing if the enemy hadn't attacked you, but now it's too late. But if we just charge in blindly, we'll be in danger. I should think a rowdiness is, is the one in the most danger right now. Well, uh... Yeah, you're right. It must be terrifying for her to be on her own right now. If we're not going to save her, what's the point? Minoru. Takuma, I changed my mind. We have to go save Mew. Minoru. All right, let's get in there and save her. Thank you. Thank you all. Jijimon, thanks for all your help. We're going to hurry back to Mew. Not so fast. What about those two? My means Harumiyuki. Don't worry. My sister and I will keep up. Keep up. Oh, no, I don't like it. I better go with you. All right, let's hurry back to the throne room. Sorry, guys, but I'm going to need your help just a bit longer. Mew, are you okay? Answer me! There's no sign of Mew anywhere. Oh, no, it's more of them. Oh, no, it's Biomon. Oh, no, it's more of them. Hey, you over there. Don't be scared, Biomon. I'm right here. Oh, Mew, you, you guys really scared me. Where's Mew? What happened to your queen? The queen is in hiding. You mean she escaped? That's right, she took off real quick. Yeah, that sounds like her. She always has been good at running away. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I hope she's okay. But what must have been Sap's decision? It sounds like she made the right choice. Yet we still cannot be sure of her safety. That's true. There's no telling how long she'll be okay. I've got to look out for her. Well, she might be fast, but she's still a kid. She can't have gone that far. So, do we search the park again? We'll have to. It'll be tough with all the enemies, but we got to split up and find her. Under the circumstances, I don't see any other option. Leave this to me. I've got every inch of this place memorized. Let's go find Mew before the kidnappers get her. I'll, I'll find some way to help, too. Harumiyuki. We'll need you two to help out again. Are you both okay with that? Yeah, we'll help. Help. If it starts to get dangerous, I need to come up protect you. Thanks, Agumon. All right, everybody. Let's go. Oh, boy. Exploration. Double time danger. My favorite. Right, but we will make another save. I'm just using up all the saves. I should probably go back and start from the top again. Well, let's uh, talk to B uh, Bioman. What happened to the little kid? I want to save the, the Bioman because I feel like if I... I need the Vexing Potency Crystal, that seems like it'll be evil. Okay, then let's go to items. Vexing. Vexing. Oh yeah, taunt. I really should, like, put more of these on. Let's see. Potency crystal. Light resistance. Unsealing light crystal. Hmm. Kind of weird that they both provide 50. Maybe it's because 100 is the max. And taunt. That would increase his damage quite a bit. We 
could put some on you since we have lots. At least that. And I guess... I don't think I'll use you much, though, so... Y you can have more help. Hey, Bioman! Hey, that's Bioman! She's hurt, too! Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry, please. I don't know where Her Majesty is. Please, no more. Bioman, hang in there! Uh, what happened to the enemies? Nobody else was around when we got here. What happened? Bad guys attacked us out of nowhere. They wanted to know where to find the queen. Did you tell them? No, I don't know where her majesty is, but she should still be inside the castle. Okay, got it. Thanks for telling us. Come on, Agumon and Biumon. Stay safe. I I will. Yuck, that hurt. You hurt, Biumon? Yeah, look at that. No, this is nothing. I'm fine, really. What should I do? I'm pretty sure I have a salve. Should I use it? Then again, Patamon says he's fine. Not Patamon, Biumon. Maybe I shouldn't force the issue. I'm going to treat the injury. Bioman, I can treat the wound. Let me take a look at it. But... No buts. Let me heal you. Now, this may hurt a bit, but bear with me. Oh, that stings. There. Now you should start feeling better. Oh, thank you. We're going to get moving now, so take care of yourself, Bioman. Yeah, leave the rest of this to us. Thank you, both of you. Kind of weird that it threw Patamon in there. Maybe because we're going to have to do it for all of them. And I'm going to treat all of them, earn their loyalty. What happened to the little kid? What are you all still doing here? I, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Hey, we're not about to run off while evil monsters are attacking to, tr uh, are attacking to try and get Mew. But aren't you all villains? No, that's what we've been trying to tell you. What? You, you mean it? Does, does that mean you'll help defend Her Majesty and her servants? Of course we will. Oh, good. Her Majesty should still be in the castle. She never came through here. Protect her. Patamon, hang on! Those wounds look awful! I know I have a salve. I should use it. Does that mean I've seen Patamon? What if I use it now and then Agumon and one of the others needs it one later? Treat the injury. Save the Patamon. There's no time for me to be stingy with salves. Hold on. I have some medicine for you. Where are you hurt most? Oh, but I couldn't... Takuma, right here. There's a bad wound on one of Patamon's forelegs. I got it. This may sting a bit, but bear with me, okay? Oh, but thank you. I promise we'll, you will save everyone. Mew and Patamon and Bioman. Okay. Come on, Nogamon. Got it. I'm going to triple check how many salves I have. I have lots of salves. I'm going to heal all of them. Heal all of them, get them on my side. But what happened to the little kid? Alright, Palmon. Tacoma, look over there, it's Palmon! Those wounds look awful. Hey, are you okay? You, what are you doing here? Looking for Mew. But your wounds, did the enemies get you when they attacked? They wanted me to tell to say where Her Majesty was. When I told them I didn't know, they tossed me aside. I know those things are monsters, but how can they do this to such a small child? I'm pretty sure I have a salve. I could use it to treat the wounds. No, I'm gonna save you. No, I can't just leave this poor thing like this. Palmon, show me where you're hurt. I'll treat you with a salve. Oh, uh, my leg. Right, this may sting a bit, but bear with me. I'm sorry, but that should help you feel better. Whoever's attacking, they're vicious enough that they'd even hurt Palmon. If we don't find Mew soon, she's in real danger. Now we have to find Mew, so we'll go on ahead. Wait, if you're looking for Her Majesty, you should search inside. You mean inside the castle? Right, I don't think she went outside. Got it, thanks. And now we'll go to the park gate, I guess. I don't think there's anyone here, Takuma. It hasn't been that long since trouble started inside the castle, so Mew might not have made it outside. 
Then should we stick into searching inside the castle? Yeah, let's head back. I just made, at least I saved the three. That's all that matters. I see Kaido. Has he learned anything, I wonder? Has he learned anything, I wonder? Why is there a clown head? Horrors beyond imagining. Luxing potency in crystal beyond imagining. So I can't talk to Shuji. He's too busy punting Lupman off the cliffs of Dover. Damn it, where could Mew have gone? Mew's pretty small, so she's really <laughs> hard to look for. Can you think of anywhere she might have tried to hide? No, honestly, I have no idea. I'm sorry, I know her, I'm, I know I'm her big brother. Hey, it's okay. Just because you're related doesn't mean you've got some telepathic link. What do you know about it? Kaido, you don't have to snap at him. Yeah, Dragmon's right, and Chuji, didn't you say something like that before? Oh yeah, well, I've got an older brother myself, and the two of us never really got along. I don't even know what to make of that expression on Chuji's face right now. Does he really not like his brother? Is that because his brother's a really big, scary guy? Or do they rub each other lo the wrong way? Could his brother be a disappointment? I admit I'm curious. Shall save to be paranoid. He's a disappointment? Is that because your brother is a disappointment to you, Shuji? Oh, he's anything but that. He's much smarter and more capable than I am. Really? Now that's saying something. I'm not sure I get it, but you make him sound amazing. He's practically perfect. That's what makes it so hard. You mean you just don't like him? No, it's not that. It's not as simple as liking him or not. I'm not sure how to explain. Anyway, my brother and I don't get along too well. You fight with him a lot? Never came to that, he wouldn't sink to that level. And I'll gonna get that. That affinity up. That affinity up. Is it because he's scary? Is it because your brother's really scary? Scary? I'm not scared of my brother! Uh, no, sorry, I wasn't asking if you were afraid of him. I was just wondering if he's rude or a total hothead or something. Sounds just like Kaido. Oh, bite me. No, my brother's not like that at all. He's an incredible person. Much better than I am. Shuji, what's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away there. Anyway, my brother and I don't get along well. And that's the looping point. Just feels a bit odd. Why would annoying be the one, too? I guess because it's more lighthearted. Is your brother really annoying, then? Do you two just rub each other the wrong way? Don't know why that raises affinity. What? I can't say I've ever thought of anyone in my family that way. It's not that weird, is it? Just because you're all family doesn't mean you can't drive each other crazy. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you heard Mew earlier, right? She said she hates me and that I'm a pain. Maybe she and I just can't get along. But you two aren't like me and my brother. If anything, I'm jealous of what you have. Anyway, me and my brother don't get along. You fight a lot. It's never come to that. Oh, well, listen, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said you didn't know anything about it. But let's not worry about me. We need to find Mew. Yeah. But how do we look for her? We don't exactly have time to calm every inch of this place. Then why don't we focus our search on the inside of the castle? What makes you think we should do that? It's absolute chaos outside. I can't think Mew would run into the middle of all that. So you're saying there's a good chance she's still somewhere inside the castle? Yes, although it's just a chance. No, I think you're onto something there. So we're going back into the castle? Yeah, and as fast as we can. We re-unlocked the rooms. Hmm. I should probably go to all the ones that don't have and then pick and choose. Mew, I don't think she's around here anywhere, but... Mural will pass the throne depicts the view from the entrance of the park. The scene must be from when the park opened. It's faded now and seems gloomy. A toy robot is on the ground by the window. Everything from the neck down is broken. I don't think it'd be easy to fix. Yeep, what do you want? 
We're looking for Mew. If you know where she is, could you please tell us? Her Majesty is hiding somewhere inside the castle. Can't you be more specific? Please, we have to find her before she gets taken away. We want to protect her. Won't you tell us where she is? I've told you all I know, really. I have other things to do, so could you leave? Here, I'll give you this to go. Uh, yep, it's the am- Ooh, two amulet acorns. We got bribed. We got bribed to leave. Is that Minoru? Maybe I should talk to him. Maybe he's a demon that needs to be exercised by God. Energy seed, but it looks like juice. Energy juice! Hmm, what's this? Minoru, what is it? Check it out, Takuma, I found this thing. That's not very descriptive. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but I bet it'll come in useful. Acceleration charge, I guess it couldn't hurt to hold on to it. Exactly, man. We're lucky you spotted it. But where's Falcomon and Labramon? Is that Saki? Maybe I should say something. Up in Susamon. I got ribs. The fact that it's ribs in a chest is kind of disturbing. Saki, are you okay? Yes, sir. I tripped over something and almost fell over. You have to watch your steps, Saki. The ground is all uneven here. I got it already. So, this is what you tripped over? Looks like it. What even is that thing? I'm not really sure, but why don't you hold on to it, Takuma? You never know when it might come in handy. That's true. I think I will hold on to it. Skill crystal. Alright, now we need to save because we're going to be going to one of the place places hmm I guess I'll go with the north path there's a little one should I say something we shall scan ribs prime ribs prime ribs What are you guys doing here? Trying to save Mew, obviously. Really? You're not here just to say that so you can hand over, <laughs> over to the bad guys? No way! We wouldn't do that! Yeah, Agumon's telling the truth. So if you know where Mew is hiding, could you tell us? Well... Well? No, I'm not supposed to say, so I won't. What? But what if the bad guys take her away before we can find her? That'll never happen. Nobody could ever think to look in a place like that. Someone's just hiding in some unexpected location. Interesting. A place like that. You mean the dungeon? Is it the dungeon? Padamon, I healed you, all of you. Now give me your scrumpets. Who would put bandages on a wall? Padamon, tell me. Oh, it's it's you. Perfect timing. Have you seen Mew? You mean Her Majesty? Right, we've been looking all over for her, but we can't find her anywhere. We need to find her before the enemies do. If you know anything that might help, please tell us. Well, she should be hiding in the safest place there is. Takuma, where's the safest place there is? I'm not sure. That's too vague. But we'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Yeah, I mean... You'd think it would probably be the throne room. That's weird. I could have sworn Mew would be in here somewhere. But she's nowhere to be seen. How many times do I have to tell you? There is no one here. Is it the chest? Mew's here. Where could she be hiding? I'm going to save and then try the obvious false answers. Hey, Takuma, doesn't this place seem like a lot messier than before? Yeah, now that you mention it, there's stuff scattered all over the place. That's just because of me. I like to make a big mess. She won't make eye contact, and she seems really flustered. That seems pretty suspicious.
Well, there doesn't there don't seem to be any hidden devices. Or any sign of you. Well, of course not. Her Majesty's not hiding there. She's in another. Oh, I forget I said anything. Oh no, I don't think so. If you know where she is, you should tell us. Well, I don't. <laughs> Time to open sesame. Wait a minute. What's up, Agumon? Wasn't the lid on this box open at first? Oh yeah, I think it was. <laughs> I thought I heard something coming from inside that treasure chest. I heard it too. No, 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 no. I'm sure you just imagined it. I don't think so. I swear I heard something inside there. No, wait, that, that was just me stumbling over a pebble. Are you sure that's what it was? Didn't I just say so? Now stop pestering me and get out of here already. You shoved me. <laughs> Whoa. That's amusing. But nothing's different anywhere else, so we have to go back after being shoved out. So is this a puzzle? Hey, Bioman. Imagine hiding somewhere. Do I have to look at the painting again? Why are you checking that treasure chest? What good could that do? Uh, it sounds pretty suspicious to me. I think that's what's going on here. Oh, yes, it's really pretty obvious. We're just going to look around a bit more, okay? <laughs> no, not okay. Her Majesty isn't here. And she's certainly not stuffed in some treasure. Uh. That was really loud. Yeah. Takuma, this is about as suspicious as it gets. Tell me about it. Be honest, Mew's hiding in there, isn't she? The Queen would never hide someplace like that. Now all of you get out. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> we have to keep going in and out <laughs> purely to satisfy and why is there a door sound <coughs> I guess we'll do a free battle in the meantime try and level up the lower level ones. Start bat. I mean, we could try and recruit them. I forget. No, but it's not easy. You are a horrible being. Hmm, the sky. Always transforming. Why are you so stupid? What a gentle soul. Wow, I just do not have anything for you, is it? Why are you a horrible monster? You should be annihilated. Make a nice line of defense. Not the boy. I shall blast away at your flank. Die. I guess we'll try to talk to the other one. And yet we must. Forget instinct monsters, put your hearts at ease. And it's like, not a gentle soul. Love the nice guy act. You're a monster. Alright, let's see. 
I think... Okay, it's not easy didn't work. I prefer fun. And now you're angry too. We'll annihilate your entire soul, little man. Get out of here. Oh yeah, I should probably digivolve you for maximum pain. Kill him. Your friend is gone. How do you feel, little man? I'll just blast you for fun. Damn you. Well, I guess, uh, you could also digivolve and do your next level attack. Slammed, man. Your annihilation begins now. And levels up for all. And big bandages. The biggest bandages. Well, let's head back to the room. We should be hiding a treasure chest. Maybe I should take one other look. What? Are you back again? This is the third time now. Just give up already. Why? Is there some sort of problem? There sure is. I'm not supposed to open. Uh. She let it slip again. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. Right, so we'll be opening this chest. No! That is an actual super sad look. Oh no, you opened it! Was, was she really hiding inside that treasure chest? Mew, I finally Mew. found you, and you're all right. Kaido, you came back. Of course I did. You think I'd leave you on your own with all this going on? Not again. Why do you always have to act so tough? Both of me and the little ones. What are you talking about? I've just been worried about you. Kaido, try rephrasing. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. That was wrong. But I need you to listen to me. We don't have time to argue right now. What? Are you trying to fool me by acting all nice? Well, I can see right through you. Yeah. Please, would you just listen to me? No, besides, you're just gonna tell me to stay with you because it's so dangerous and try to take me away. Well, I don't wanna go. I'm seeing her seal come on forever. Mew, I don't think you understand yet just how dangerous this place can be. Yeah, there's enemies that kidnap children in this weird fog that's really scary. Well, I don't know what it's like anywhere else, but this place is tons of fun. I like that boring Hickville I was in before. Plus, there aren't any bossy adults. I'm surrounded by all these cute stuffed animal things, and they do whatever I say. You mean the monsters like Gigimon and Palmon? Yeah, Gigimon actually listens to me. Unlike my brother, and the others are all cute. I love it here. Boy, how deluded can you get? It may take some time to convince her the truth. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't have humored her so much. Yeah. You don't understand. There you go, talking down to me again. You're the one who doesn't understand, Kaido. You don't know how I felt about any of this at all. You, you need to cut this out right now. What can you see? I'm just worried about you. There, you see? Why are you always so quick to yell at me? I, I, I'm sorry. This is why I can't stand you, Kaido. There, there, Mew. You must have been very scared. Well, what now? We can't just calmly work this out. We have to get out of here. Mew, I understand that you're upset with Kaido, but I want you to understand we all just want you to take somewhere safe. Yeah, right. Why should you even care? None of you even know who I am. This has nothing to do with how we all know you. But that really doesn't make any sense. And you go on and on about what dangerous places, but everything is just cute. There's lots of big dangerous things out in the world, too. 
Yeah, sure. At first, I was pretty scared when the spider lady showed up, but then Siokamon came and saved me. Yeah, deal with that someone who was, like, easy. So Siokamon didn't have any trouble for our, our Kenimon? That's pretty impressive. Still, who knows what the other monsters might be out there. Anyway, I'm not going anywhere. As long as I have Siokamon and the others, I'll be fine. Do you even know how much those cute little things who like so much are suffering? What? They all got hurt trying to stop the enemies attacking the park from reaching you. If this keeps up, those cute little servants of yours might not survive. Saki, are you sure that's not going a little too far? No, I think we need to be very clear about what staying here could mean. After all, it'll be too late once all of our monster friends are dead. What do you mean, dying? Palmon and Palmon got taken out? I, I don't believe you. It's not true. It can't be. They're lying, aren't they, Digimon? Everybody's fine, right? Uh, well... Mew, we're not lying. That's how dangerous these enemies are. No, it can't be. This place is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be safe. What was that? An enemy attack? Is it another cyclone? Well, what's going on? Or is it gonna be the bear? The whole castle is shaking. I hope this can't be happening. Is the ceiling starting to fall down? This is bad. Everybody outside! Miyuki, this way. We better get moving too. What? No, wait! You stop! Not that way! Look out! Did it bust through the window? Saki! Mew! Are you alright? I'm okay, though I think I sprained my leg. What about you, Mew? Are you hurt anywhere? No, I'm fine. Get away from there now! Her pieces are falling! But what about Saki? Just go! I'll take care of Saki, okay? Right, we can't see her. Everybody outside! I thought that was... Oh, I guess it is the rumbling, but just... Extra rumbling with ceiling falling. Everyone's still with us, right? We need to hurry out of the castle. What's going on? Why is everyone on the ground? I didn't want this. Mew, this way, hurry! Well, at least we know they're not dead because they disperse when they die. I think. Everyone, watch out for the rubble! No, wait, stop everyone's falling down! We need help! I'm sorry. I'd like to help, but we need to get out of here. We're almost out. Everyone, be on your guard. Even they have so out here. So many of them are hurt. This is all my fault. Mew, Mew close your eyes. Here, I'll hold your hand and save Kaido. If we can just get through this. The exit's just up ahead. We actually made it. Looks like we all got out in time. Saki, how's your leg? I think I can walk on it now. Thanks, Kaido. Nah, I should be thanking you. You saved Mew. Speaking of which, Mew, are you alright? Seems like she's having a hard time taking all this in. Anyway, we need to keep moving. Let's get out of here before you, for some enemy monster. Are those... Screams? Uh, Haru, what was that? I hear screams. Over that way. That way. Don't tell me. Slim, Palmon and Patamon. What the heck? Something's coming this way. Bad news, Tacoma. Some little strong enemies are headed straight for us. My senses tell me. These are no ordinary foes. There! It's them! <laughs> so this is where those fools of the human children have come. Ray. So much Ray. These are the attackers? They give me the chills. What is with those guys? Do you catch the look in their eyes? They gotta be bad news. What? Those aren't like the monsters I know at all. 
Yeah, stay right next to me, okay? Leave the children to me. Of course. The children have no concern of mine. Oh, yeah. We'll see about them, Mr. Big Bad Wolf. Don't you call me that. I'm Garurumon. Uh, are you with Horokinimon? I care nothing for trash like her. Now, let's see, I think. You're the biggest threat. But how dare you? Kurumon just lifted Falcomon. I hear you formed a bond with these human whelps. Uh, he's quite strong! Watch out! Falcomon! <laughs> now let's see how this power of yours. Go up, Falcomon! Oh, he's strong! Take this! Being pushed back! Aren't you going to help them? You didn't form a bond with them. I... Why are you always so useless? Well, don't tell me that's all you've got. I thought you were supposed to be strong. Now's my chance. These children are mine. Hey, back off! No, stop! Get away from you! You keep away from our queen! We won't let you take her! Save the queen! No! All of you! Stop! Don't interfere. Just dying one by one. Oh, they're all suffering all because of me. Pathetic. We're not finished yet. We will protect the queen. Oh, stop. That's enough, please. You don't have to fight for me. Mew, what are you thinking? Get back here. So this is the child who escaped from Arukimimo. I don't think so. Out of my way. It's after Mew. We have to get her out of here. Right, Mew, this way. You're not getting away. Well, first you'll have to go through us. Bring it on. But what about everyone else? They really thought I was a sorceress. They thought they fought to protect me, but I haven't done anything for them. You have a one in the most danger right now, so you'll need to hide in the castle for... You're not going anywhere. You already beat Agumon and the others? Well, I won't let you hurt out your Mew. I barely even touched them. So pathetic. But what about you? Looks like you've got some fight in you. I'm not letting you hurt Mew. That spirit alley. So what if you're trembling? Leave this to me. I can handle it. Somebody's gonna die here today. You should be. Not all monsters are cute and cuddly. Heh, <laughs> pathetic. You're just gonna leave? What? He's leaving? But the human brats. You're letting them go. I came here so I could crush the fools who bond with the human children. I'm not on some stupid hunt for children like you and your friends. Gururuma. You traitor. Traitor? How am I a traitor? I've never been one of you. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like they're fighting. You, you think this is our chance to escape? I will take the child's sacrifice. Hey, you're not taking me anywhere! What can you do? You're only human. You will not harm our friends and partners! Don't you know when to stay down? You just got in a lucky shot last time. I ain't done yet! Yeah, that's right! <laughs> At least you've got guts. <laughs> Alright then, let's see what you can do in a real fright, not just a contest of strength. Wouldn't have it any other way! I don't see any other way out of this. But these two are crazy strong. If only there was something I could say to our help our partners give them their all. Make Garurumon angry. Hmm, let's see. Let's make Garurumon angry. How dare you pick on little kids like that? On girls! But that's not what's happening. Cowards like you are the worst. Yeah, even I'm better than that. Me? A coward? Uh, he's starting to get flustered. He may be tough, but he seems like the type that takes pride in a fair fight. He's an intimidating opponent, all right, but here goes nothing. All you are a, is a coward, Garurumon. Take this! <laughs> you call that attack? That was nothing. 
Unbelievable! How strong is this guy? Oh no, Kaido! So you are worried about what happens to him? Of course I am, he's my brother! I just don't like him being overprotective, but I hate it how he never gives me any space. When he gets like that, it reminds me of things I really don't want to remember. And that's why you were so mean to him? Yeah, but he's still my brother. I can't do anything. Your Majesty! Your Majesty over here! Don't worry, we'll go help them! What? Come on, Veomon and Patamon! Enough! <laughs> They're all hurt again! So come on, tell me, what should I do? They're all fighting for me, like I'm really their queen, but I haven't done anything for them. Neil, what do you want me to do? I don't want to let anyone, to let my brother die. I don't want to lose everyone after lying to them, or my brother after fighting with him. I want to protect everyone else for a change. So come on, please, save Kaido! Are you going to just digivolve? Yep, immediately. Oh, I'm so happy you said that. Finally able to be honest about how you feel. I've been waiting this whole time for you to be honest with me. Because when you wish for something with your whole heart, I can be as strong as you need. Neo, I'm here to make your wishes come true. So for your sake, I'll grow strong. I wonder what you're going to digivolve into. Uh, oh, that's an interesting de decision. Or maybe not decision, but like... Kind of amusing. Time to fight. Let's go, fools. And there's treasure chests about. I'm probably getting to the point where I should probably... Oh, and a Togemon. Come over here. Get the chest. Another one. Well, I didn't expect that. All move together. together. Hmm. I think you might be able to smack him a bit. No, not that one. This boy. I wonder it actually moved him. And there doesn't seem to be, so... Evolve into Tyrannomon. And then they'll be very slow to get in here. And hopefully... Pansymons, or whatever his name is... Will take a long time to get over as well. this oh really just gonna go to them oh that's an interesting choice 
Oh, that's an area of effect. That's not good. Luckily, they're slow. Go ahead and use a salve just to heal people up. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. Okay, maybe not move. We'll obliterate you. I'll protect your back. Hmm. If I move to the side, maybe I can annihilate you. You're gone, Garuruman. Say good night. Get out of here. And luckily, he's spending all his time waiting for us to get closer. Let's see. Eh, it doesn't seem like a big enough thing to worry about. Smack it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. And they'll be very slow. We can get to the chest. And then absolutely annihilate the man. The man, man. Slowly move everyone together. And also hope he can get a little bit of heals. Open up the chest. Comet hammer. That's the wrong one. Huh. Odd, I thought you would go for the boy. Oh, but I guess you're prioritizing the one that you're technically stronger to. Because you're a meanie. Oh no, he's coming. Oh lord, he's coming. That's not good. Let's see. I have choice ribs, my dude. Wait, no, that's SP. Okay, thank God. I, I noticed that. We need something that's really big. That's only a little. Maybe a clean dressing? It is rare, but... Don't want him to die. Go ahead and I like this one.
Yeah, because I don't really think that he's much of a threat. He is. Take it from behind! Well, that's not good. He gets pro Don't tell me he's gonna kill him. Oh, Jesus. Gilmon is gonna have to run away and heal himself. We need to block him in. Blast you. And block you in even more. Please don't be able to move about. I'm not gonna let you. Be gone! Damn it. Okay, he's doing a stupid move. I almost lost my Growlmon. Now would you kindly die? Damn it. Mashed Monzemon. That's the achievement I got. We did it. It was tough, but we took it down. All right, we beat Monzemon. Hey, you're looking pretty dumb, kid. Time to annihilate this little pain in the butt. Who dare try to get my beloved Growlmon to die? Because I think if they die in a mission, it's dead. It's gone. Utter horror. My boy almost died. My boy almost died. But we got lots of things. We got lots of things. <coughs> but the numbers were against me. <laughs> Next time I won't lose. <laughs> that jerk spots off some excuse <laughs> and then takes <laughs> off. <laughs> Do you think? He still seemed pretty strong to me. I kind of feel like he let us off easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like it. So he didn't think us worthy of fighting in earnest. You mean, you think he's actually even stronger? Are monsters going to keep attacking us like that from now on? I hate to think what it'd be like if he came at us for real. Takuma, are you alright? You look pale. Sorry, I guess I got lost in my own thoughts. What kind of thoughts? If I say I'm worried, we won't beat Garurumon next time. It might bring everyone down. I'm sure they're already nervous about it, but I should say I'm sure we'll win. Then again, maybe that's irresponsible. Be honest, I hope some <laughs> he's someone we never have to fight again. Once was enough. One fight with Gururumon was enough. Hope we never have to do that again. Well, I hear what you're saying, but we may not have much choice. Especially considering Gururumon's thirst for battle. Yeah, and it sounded like he had some sort of grudge against us for partnering with you. He did seem upset about us forming bonds of human children. All the more reason I'd rather not fight him again. He'd be targeting all of you specifically. Takuma, don't worry about us. Fighting to keep you safe is what we're here for. Yeah, that's right. Please do not forget that we fight to protect Minoru. <laughs> that we all fight to protect Minoru. To protect all of you. Hear that? I feel like we really should let him protect us. All right. Garuruman shows up again. That's what we'll do. Uh, we'll have to... Uh, well, we'll look out for all of you, too. Yeah, that's what the Takuma I know. It'll work out. It has to. I have half a mind. Just plaster everybody with health. Well, things were touch and go for a while there. But thanks to you, we're saved. 
It has been quite eventful since her rowdiness arrived, but you protected this place well. Thank you for that, human children, and our good queen. I'm not really a queen. Just call me Mew. Oh, then we will we'll be leaving here to travel with your brother and his companions. Yeah, is that okay, Kaido? It's more than okay. I'm glad to have you back, Mew. And obviously I'll be going with Mew as well. Of course, even if I'm done being queen, I'll never be done with you, Suakuman. <laughs> Isn't this great, Kaido? Practically all you've ever talked about is how worried you were about Mew. Well, I am her brother. What do you expect? I really am glad we were able to rescue Mew. Because that takes care of that. I need to go back, everyone. Go back where? Oh. Back to the school. I mean, it's the closest thing we have to a home here. Yes, that's as close as it gets. Sobering moment for everyone. When I said we should go back, only meant minute we should return to the school. But it wound up a reminder that we still can't go back to where we really belong. Why is everyone so sad all of a sudden? I can't help it. Allie and her friends want to go back to their real homes. Hmm. Well, it would seem you all long to return to the world from which you originally came. Of course we do. I mean, maybe my life wasn't perfect, but even I want to go back. But how can we? Saki, please don't look so sad. I'm sorry, Florimon, it's just... I can't help it when it comes to this. Since ancient times, children from the human world have sometimes found themselves here. Apparently, upon certain occasions, the border between our two worlds grows thin. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? It's like a door that normally stays shut occasionally swings open. Yes, I suppose that might be another way of putting it. So you think we might w have to wander into this world while the border was thin? Well, we may not have simply wandered in. We may have been brought here. What? But who would bring us here and how? You mean Saki and her friends were kidnapped away from their world? I don't know. I don't exactly remember being dragged here. Maybe it wasn't anything physical. Maybe we got drawn in or something. That could be it. After all, this world is nothing like our own. Haru, Miyuki, what about you two? Do you remember anything about how you got here? No, not a thing. Not a thing. Oh, okay then. Because all we can say for sure is that other children have come here before, like us. Based on what Jijimon told us, yes. From what the professor said, if this is the world of legends of the Kimonogami, lots of human children have come here over the years. So what happened to those children? Where did they go? i never seen any humans before you and your friends showed up, Takuma. Yeah, me neither. But haven't we heard some monsters mention being offering human children as sacrifices? I doubt that was just a wild guess or something. So this is kind of thing's been happening for a long time. Uh, that'd be awful. Indeed. Those who kidnap children have been around for longer than I can remember. So you're saying human children have been coming here since the distant past? Only to be offered up as sacrifices by those things? As I understand it, they seek a way to save our world from the fog that is consuming it. In truth, every time those hands, which we call the Kenzoku, take a human child, the fog lifts, the destruction ceases, and the spaces swallowed up by the void return. But what are you talking about? Human sacrifices? A fog that swallows things up? Right, I forgot. I still don't know about the fog. So what is it exactly? Nothing you need to worry. Is it way scarier not really knowing what you're talking about? So just tell me. She has a point, Kaido. I think we should tell her what we can. Fine. But it's not like we know that much ourselves. All we know is if you get swallowed up by it, you're gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? Like, you die? Why? That doesn't make any sense. This is what we've been trying to tell you. This world is a very dangerous place. I, I didn't know about anything like that. Me looks completely horrified. Not that I blame her. Having just learned about this, honestly, I'm not sure I'm over it either. I remember the dark arms reaching for Yo. Countless kids got grabbed by those things. Why? What's wrong with this place? I don't get it. They offered up children. What? I'm afraid I can offer you no explanation. You might say it's the work of our god. However, there are of course many who object to such methods. Take myself, for instance, or any here in the park. You better believe it. I'm not about to let those losers get their hands at Takuma. That was a thud. Hope it wasn't serious. I feel the same way about Aoi. And that's how I feel about Kaido. But what you're saying is, all the kids who wandered into here before, I can't imagine any of them survived. Were they all offered as sacrifices? As to say, I could not. Human children do not appear often. Some are offered as sacrifices, others just vanish. They vanish? 
I hear in the past there were those who could cross between dimensions at will. Is that true? I'm telling you, I don't know any specifics. I've never left the bounds of this world. But yeah, that makes sense. If the legend still exists in our world, then must be kids who made it back, right? Oh, yeah. You're right. Some kids may have made it back to our world. Maybe even some monsters, too. If you think about the fact legends of the Kimonagami exist, that makes sense. In other words, depending on what happens, I could go to your world, Minoru. Hey, that sounds fun. I want to see what your world is like, Saki. So there may be a way back after all? Mm. Indeed. In fact, I might even recall something that may help you. This is something I once heard from a friend. There's a technique some humans know that can be thin the boundary between worlds. Using this technique, some children were able to return to the human world. My friend who told me this saw the opening of the door between the worlds with his own eyes. And they weren't just taken in by something like those strange ghostly hands? Indeed. Apparently this was something quite different. But how would this friend of yours know the difference? Those who strengthened their bonds apparently gained a shared sense with their humans. They knew where their partner was, how they were feeling, and whether they still lived. So they could sense that their friends were alive and well on the other side of the door. Though apparently this sense did not continue forever. So this friend of yours didn't stay at the human child they bonded with? Sounds like they didn't. I wouldn't want to be separated from Takuma like that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm saying I told Takuma to go home. If there was a way back, I want to go with Takuma to his world. Yeah, I'd like it if we could go back together. Well, in any case, that is the extent of my knowledge on the subject. You were saying that maybe, just maybe, there's a chance we'll be able to go back? Oh, what a relief. Oh, yeah, man, this is great news. You know, do you hear that? I'll be able to go back. Yeah. Don't you think that's good news? I guess, but this amusement park was way more fun than anything back in our world. Sounds like Mio has some things to work out still. But at least now we have hope. So we really might be able to go back. Well, I think it's a little e early to start celebrating. Huh? What makes you say that? Jimon's explanation has been nothing but hearsay. Well, I've told you all I know. So you can't say if it's really true. And you don't have any kind of proof, do you? I find this strange connection between a human and a monster is pretty hard to believe. Shuji. Shuji's inability to connect with Lotmon probably has something to do with that. Your points are fair. However, there is some evidence. Some things I've seen for myself. Many times I've witnessed a strong bond between my friend and their human child. Though it was long ago, and my memories have faded, yet had that child been sacrificed, my friend would not have fed well. Those are such strong bonds share the same fate. That would be awful. Yet my friend still lives. This in itself is proof that the child is alive somewhere. I thought that might be the case. That must be why Kunemon vanished along with Ryo. You're right. I've been so focused on Ryo that I never really thought about it. But Kunemon went with him, didn't he? Yeah. Thing. Does this boundary thinning technique really even exist? I don't believe it. It does sound too good to be true. Human children using some special technique to thin the boundary between worlds? How? That is a question for one familiar with the sacrifices and the border between worlds. Is there anyone that like that we can ask? The kidnappers likely know something. They have ties to the being who rules this world. I think we should ask the kidnappers? No way! Wait a minute, who's the one who rules this world? An individual not quite the same as our god, our creator. It's little more than legend, but supposedly there's a being who rules this world. In other words, a caretaker of all creation, a being who protects and rules us all. Perhaps if you were to appeal to that being, you might just get your wish. Look, stop doing this false hope, okay? That story's even crazier than the last one! Bringing up this god or whatever doesn't help us at all! Perhaps not. But even if you can't speak of this ruler, what about the kidnappers? You want us to just ask a monster like Arukinimon or Gururumon what's going on? At the very least, they know enough to offer a child on an altar and summon the Kizoku. It doesn't matter what they know. Asking them about it might as well be suicide. I agree. We were lucky to live through what we did today. Maybe, but it didn't seem like that dog thing, Gururu or whatever, might tell us. Miru, are you seriously considering this? Could you somehow have already forgotten how fearsome he was? But didn't that Gururuman guy basically ignore us? Yeah, and it seemed like he turned out on the one who was with him. So you're saying there may be some of them who will hear us out? I believe that is a real possibility. No way! 
It's easy to see why Shuji will be concerned about this at the same time, though. It's not like we have any other leads on how to go home. So do we approach Garurumon and kidnappers in spite of the risks? Because it seems like the safest thing to do would be to avoid them at all costs. Then again, if all we do is run and hide, who knows if we'll ever manage to get back. But are those really our only options? Maybe we could come up with some alternative. We need to keep thinking. Could there be an alternative that doesn't involve confronting the kidnappers? An alternative? Like what? I don't know, like, maybe we could talk to Jujimon's friend directly. Unfortunately, I have no idea where my old friend might be. Yes, that's out. Then maybe we could start by asking any other monster if they know anything. Isn't that pretty risky, too? Who knows what kind of monster we might run into? Yeah, that world's full of all sorts of monsters. Good, bad, peaceful, aggressive. I guess that's true. And since we don't know if any of them know anything, that's not really a realistic option. So it's sounding like our only real choice is to go to the kidnappers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And Orokinimon did say something interesting the other day. You mean how she called us sacrifices? That was pretty hard to miss, wasn't it? If this world's destruction can be halted by such means, a ruler must be involved. Therefore, the kidnappers may know much more about this subject than I do. Well, if they're the only lead, we'll just have to make them talk now, won't we? Would you give it a rest already? You're always so quick to pick a fight. I know, right? Kaido's such a thug. What other option is there? Okay, they may be scary and they may be up to no good, but we can still talk to them. Maybe we can negotiate or something? I don't know. Nah, they ain't the time to listen to reason. We'll have to beat the answers out of them. You don't know that. Sorry, but I'm a Kaido on this one. I just don't know where we can find them or how we could make them talk. All we have to do is wait. They'll definitely try and kidnap us again, right? But if we wait for them, don't you think they'll have us at a disadvantage? Yes, that seems ill-advised. Not how I like to do things anyway. And with Haru, Miyuki, and Miu with us, we should try to minimize our risks. My sister and I could wait at the school. We'd be fine. Fine. No, I will not allow that! Uh, what if we took the initiative? Uh, how do we do that? Do you even know where to find them? I've got a pretty good idea. They came in from the north, which leads to the sea. And do you think... <laughs> and what do you think is beyond that? The sea? Alright, I forgot. This place is an island. Wait, you can't mean... Yeah, we just gotta cross the sea to attack. But how? It's not like we've got a boat, let alone an airplane. Hey, what are those? There are different types of vehicles. Boats float in the water and airplanes can fly. You mean we've... You've never seen anything like that before? Nope, never. Unfortunately, I can't say if it... I have either. I doubt any of us have. Yeah, that's what I figured. Between the cable car and this theme park, I thought there was a chance, but maybe not. There are monsters who can swim that stay by the water, but I doubt they carry us. Yes, this doesn't seem very likely. Unless maybe one of those monsters was a giant turtle that could carry us on its back. Of course, if it was a monster that swam in the water, we'd probably all drown. So what do we do? I've got it! Uh, Minoru, what is this all of a sudden? I just had the best idea! What are you talking about? Remember how when we went to the dam, there was that place that went underground? You know, the door that had the crazy design on it? You think maybe if we went through there, we'd come out on the other side of the ocean? Oh yeah, the underground waterway! Right! That's what you call it. In a way, it's basically like an underwater tunnel! And I believe the directions do line up. However, that door was locked. You did not say it would open. Hmm, in that case, I hope this might be of some use to you. Gigimon? What's that? Looks like some type of key. Hey, this pattern looks just like the one we saw on that door! The ones who attacked this place had it hidden away. I haven't the foggiest idea what it might be used for, though. This could be just what we need! Maybe we'll have to go check. Yeah, just looks like we know what our next goal is now. Yeah, looks like it! First, we need to see if we can use this key to open the door to the underground waterway. Then if it works, we can take the waterway across the ocean. Well, a lot happened, but at least nobody died. After getting the key from Gigimon, we left the park and returned to the school. In part because it was too late to try the waterway, but mostly because we were exhausted. Especially Mew, who was fell fast asleep just as soon as we got to the back. I just want to see a thing. Because I am going to immediately go and give health to the ones that 
are like lowest. Or the ones that are going to be like in the most danger. Health is important. And I'll definitely need to like uh, maneuver better because that was almost a disaster. That was almost a disaster. Her relief at having Kaido by her side again probably had something to do with it. As for me... Hey, new art! Could we really go back? Dr. Koma, you're not going to sleep? Oh, Aguma, sorry, did I wake you? Nah, I've been up. Something on your mind, Takuma? Guess you could say that. It's more like, now that I know there might be really a way for us to go home, I'm kind of excited. Ah, oh, so that's it. Everyone did seem pretty lively at dinner. Yeah, I guess they did. Manoru kept going on and on about finally being able to read comics again. <laughs> then everyone fell asleep not long after we ate. Oh, yeah, they all worked really hard today. They sure did. But I think you worked harder than anyone. You do? Oh, absolutely. You're really something else, Takuma. I'm proud to be your partner. I don't know what it is, but hearing Agumon say that really warms my heart. I'm proud to be your partner too, Agumon. Oh, that makes you so happy. Thanks, Takuma. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, and I want to check a thing before I absolutely forget. Nope, I cannot, uh, like, select them. Because that one, for some reason, is, like, locked, but... I can see it better than the other ones, and I wonder why. I thought I could maybe unlock his other evolutions. <laughs> you two are still up? Oh, hey there, Saki. Floramon. What are you two up to? We're not really up to anything, just talking about tomorrow. Hey, that's just what we've been doing. <laughs> Sounds like great minds think alike. Are you feeling nervous about tomorrow, Saki? What gives you that idea? Well, sometimes when you seem really excited, you're actually nervous about something. Well, that's a good observation, Takuma. How'd you know? <laughs> you got your eye on me or something? I mean, you must have to pick up something like that. What? No, I didn't mean to imply anything like that. <laughs> I was just kidding. You get to flush it whenever I tease like that. I feel so embarrassed. But I am kind of glad, I guess. Yeah. I'm sure you're just teasing me again. Very funny. No, this time I mean it. Like, it's nice to have someone who really tries to understand you. You know what I mean? I should do. I love it when Takuma's really attentive and tries to understand me. Same here. I want Saki to learn more about me and want to learn more about her, too. <laughs> Thanks, Floramon. But I think it's about time we got to sleep. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. It sure is. We better be getting to bed, too. Oh, then good night. I hope I was able to make Saki feel a little less anxious. Takuma, are you going back? I thought we were going to bed. Oh, right. We better rest up for tomorrow. And that'll be the end of part four, I believe. Now I'm going to be afraid of every subsequent part. Well, with that awkwardness, we're gonna save. Before. But yeah, I totally think that Shuji's gonna be the next to die. Like, if anybody is going to die without any input from me, like another your choices do not matter death, it's gonna be the boy. It's gonna be Shuji. Because he is just way too mean to Lopmon. Way too mean to Lopmon. If anything, I could see Lopmon sacrificing himself to try and save Shuji, only for Shuji to realize, oh no, that was a person I should have been protecting this entire time and didn't have a breakdown and then die. But yeah, Shuji's gonna die, I just know it. <laughs> He's just, everybody else feels much more, like, interesting. He definitely is starting to feel like Ryo was. Where he's far too mean, far too cowardly. And he's going on, I have to protect everyone. And then he ends up protecting no one, like a tool.
But yeah, I almost lost Growlmon, and I can only assume that this is indeed the type of game that if they die in the battle, they're gone. So from now on, when it comes to super boss monsters, I am definitely going to play more defensively. At least I'll have to try to. And I should also try to save mid-conversation before the battles really begin, if I want to save scum like that. I just wish that I could digivolve my boy into War Growlmon. Although that is kind of a, a little downside, in my opinion, is the fact that the army that we're basically grabbing isn't really referenced. Like, oh, the Digimon that are helping us. No, it is just our, like, party Digimon. But yeah. Still loving this game. The music's still good. The story is very good. The characters are interesting. And, uh, yeah, the dangers are real. Monzemon almost annihilated both Falcomon and my boy Growlmon, and I was horrified. So when it comes to boss monsters, I'm going to have to take their affinity into account much, much more when approaching them. I'm going to have to make sure that I stay out of their, like, aggro range. And then, like, lure in all the enemies that are, like, lesser, take them out, heal up, and then lure out the boss monsters. Up until the point that the boss monsters basically go, I waited enough, and they start coming to me no matter what, which will be horrifying. It'll basically be Cyclone Mon again, except they're gonna be stronger. Mm hmm. I'm gonna have to buff up everybody's defense. And yeah, considering that the chapter that's coming up is beginning with Shuji, I'm worried. Because again, Everybody else feels like I've had more opportunities to, like, talk to them and stuff. And the fact that he's just so cruel to Lopmon. He feels like kind of the opposite of Ryo. Because both Ryo and Shuji wanted to kind of stay in one place. Whereas, and also he kind of has this Doomer aspect to him, kind of like Ryo. Where Rio was like, we're doomed, we're all, we're all dead, we're, either we're gonna die or we're already dead. This is the afterlife. Like, he slowly started to go insane like that. Shuji here has... is in a very bad spot because he's very much, no, this impossible. And at first he was like, we have to wait for people. And like, he's trying to deny the reality of the situation and offering no alternatives, kind of just like Ryo was. And whereas with Ryo, he kind of got along with Kunemon a little bit towards the end, but he was very, like, isolationist from everybody else. Like, that's the big thing. At Ryo's death, he went on and on and on about how everybody hated him and was out to get him but didn't, like, have much negative to say about Kunemon, aside from, like, he was still just kind of freaked out. He didn't, like, attack Kunemon much. Shuji, on the other hand, is much more, like, ingratiated towards the humans, but is very mean to the monsters, which I think is going to be his downfall, and is going to be what's kill what kills him beyond my... Because I think that's an... Ac you know what? That's actually kind of an interesting aspect to it, if I'm understanding it now, where the characters have to be savable for me to be able to save them. Ryo was lost to the world the moment that he basically gave in and said there was no way we were stuck, we were doomed, and slowly went insane. He didn't allow himself to be saved. And again, unless he is uh, unless he is a super guide 
dang it type save, or a new game plus save, which again, not even sure if this game has new game plus. <laughs> I just assume because the last Digimon game that I played had new game plus. And it's kind of in the similar vein of gameplay, so I'd think that there would be some kind of new game plus feature. So, who knows? But. Yeah. Unless Ryo is, like, just really hard to save, or impossible to save unless you're a new game plus in it, I just feel like Shuji's in the same boat. Where he's too antagonistic, he's too cowardly, he doesn't have too enough initiative. And he's very rude to Lopmon. He's very rude to Lopmon and dismissive of the other monsters, but then he turns around and is like, uh, why aren't you like the other monsters jumping up to save us? Meanwhile, he's put no effort into his relationship with Lopmon. I just feel like he's being very rude. And that his rudeness is a sign that he's gonna die. The others, like, the only other character that feels like on the edge of potentially being in danger is Kaito. Kaito is very hot headed, and I feel like is the next character in the line of if anybody's gonna die without my input, it's Kaido. Unless it's a surprise. Other. Uh, then again, maybe Minoru. He's. He's getting to be, oh, I have to make up for my cowardice, and he runs ahead. So, yeah. I'm going to assume that at least every character that is saveable is going to also, therefore, <laughs> inversely, have the opportunity to die. Which is going to be horrifying. But, yeah. I'm very, like, I'm kind of over my annoyance of the previous thing anything. I'm just very much more liable to go, eh, screw it, I'm gonna save scum. And I think I might also start save scumming in the exploration sections, too. Like, when I just talk to the Digimon and they're like, yeah, blah, 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 and just kind of, like, lore. I might stave off and save them for last if I don't find anything else. Because, like, it's like Lopmon in the bathroom. And I'm like, talk to him. And he's just like, oh, yeah, maybe he went to the shrine. And then I talk to Labramon. And Labramon's like, yeah, maybe he went to the shrine. And it's like, the kind of, just kind of the same stuff. And I think I'll try to cut down on that. And just try to focus more on conversations that matter. And, like, if the conversation is interesting enough, I might save it. And eat the time waste. But, yeah, it's basically, considering that the game is, uh, Getting a little bit crazy. I'll, I'll do a little bit of safe scum. Like I said, if it comes down to actual tangible, like consequences, I will eat them, and I will basically go. Welp, I am here now. There is no safe scumming like actual consequences. Grant, yeah, because if Graumon died, I probably would have been like, <laughs> if Graumon died and he was gone forever. I probably would have wanted to save Scum, but considering that my last save was like five billion years ago, probably not. So, yeah. Still loving this game. Still loving these characters. Shuji is still an asshole. He is an abusive father to the boy. The poor Lopmon boy, who I don't want to put much of my, like, stat fruits into. Because it just feels like he's gonna die. Shuji is going to die and Lopmon's gonna go with him. Or maybe it will be an interesting thing where Lopmon dies and Shuji is left forever like, oh no. But then that would also be kind of annoying like, well there goes one of my army units. And it'll probably be like Ryo where I don't get a say on things. It's just kind of funny that there's like, seems to be two category of people. The ones that you can save, and the ones that are doomed. <laughs> like, unless there's, like, a hidden thing. Like I said, you keep... Like, again, if there is a new game plus, and you keep affinity and your weird, like, uh, harmony, moral, wrathfulness. Like, I don't know what that is. Maybe if you have higher 
stats in a specific one, that kind of stat has a greater chance of, like, affecting things. But that feels, like, way too branchy. That feels way too, like, uh, option-y. And as, as Mass Effect proved, too many branches is a bad thing for a game. But then again, who knows? Maybe they're just hidden branches. <laughs> yeah. Basically, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, you can watch the various VODs and archives of these here streams over on the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where streams like my Mass Effect Trilogy streams, Undertale stream, and Kirby and the Forgotten Land stream are all up there for you to peruse at your will. And then if you're one of those people already watching these here archives, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And then if you want art from me, like my little avatar in the corner, you can watch me play. Oh yes, watch me play on Twitch now. If you want more art from me, like my little avatar in the right-hand corner, you can watch me post art on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.